snowing in Halcyon City. Five to eight inches of... <laughs> Don't know what that's like. For those of you in Denver, I hope everyone stayed safe today with the ridiculous black ice situation. We were, we went up into the mountains and it was actually nicer up there than it was down here. That's a nice thick layer of snow there. It's really It's really starting to build up out there. It's snowing in the city, so they're drawing in snow on the pictures. <laughs> because, because that's we how can. we can. Because we can. Because we can. All right. It's really hard when you don't have a mouse. When we last left our heroes, things had gotten quite out of hand. What? Uh... Well, things had gotten quite complicated. Um, okay, so if I remember right, or wait, does somebody want to do a recap? I should ask that question first. You guys are doing a snowman. This is the best thing. What, you, uh -huh. want a, you want to build a snowman? Stop. Do you want to build a snowman? Now you have Kelly singing in the other room. Uh, um, my work here is complete. It, it, if, if nobody's... You know, I mean, jonesing for the recap. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I'll do something for the recap. Okay. Who did last time? I don't remember. I did. Margie. Margie did. No, oh, yeah, right, right, right. Because we were doing the, the pose at the beginning and the pose afterwards. All I had to say was imagine this, but with more snow on it, and then just step slowly away from the screen without trying to startle anybody. Jeez Louise. Helsia. Jeez, that's so good. I kinda I wanna screen cap this. This you know, at some point I'm not coming. I I mean I totally got out my wake time and started actually just doodling on here, so <laughs> Oh, that's so good. It's the easiest way. Well yeah. I mean at the actual God that's That is a thing of beauty is what that is. I like how my daughter named herself Little Alicia on there, just to really mess with you. Of course. She's always watching. Dun 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 I'm only here to mess with Jason. Why should you be any different? It doesn't take much. <laughs> That's true. That is entirely true. Okay, so if sorry, we're getting a slow start here. Never. That is completely untrue if we start within the next four minutes. It's <laughs> fair enough. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, Catherine, if you are inclined to do a uh, a recap then by all means recap away um hmm because you're the first for, i guess you can actually do it in your own voice and everything since you're actually uh back in your own body and actually conscious which makes you unique in this current situation what a day this has been in character no less it all started out with the with buddies, then the stupid Christmas party. You know, a cat. All the fell asleep because magic sucks. We had to somehow, somehow figure out a way to deal with the Virt Icelandic uh I love that you correct yourself halfway it. through that. Yeah. And we 
we somehow managed to find the cat. It was trying to use Concord's powers. Who was trying to use Concord's powers? Me. Oh, you were, right. Yeah, we got, we've got one panel of we got one panel of him being of 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 you of Concord's body being smacked through a number of walls in somebody's residential home with the comment that bit, that went about as well as you'd expect. After I failed a couple times, Saul decided. Uh, Saul decided that. And not kill everyone. And we've got a panel so, of of Super Saul. Some of his space magic, which me and Concord back into our proper bodies. Promptly defeated the cat. <laughs> picture, picture of the picture, picture of the cat winking out. And defeated the cat. And defeated the cat. And then one little. I almost wanted to be one of those little like the the little star shine of light that you see in the animes when like the right the moment that the weapon like somebody's attack goes off you cut to a shot from orbit and you see the little starlight Ping. yeah <laughs> anyway Ping. do you remember what happened after that um after that we went to go meet up with some of the other heroes who had managed to capture a yule lad Uh, Charlotte took a look at her cemetery and saw that there was a distinctly uncemetery like place surrounding it. Uncemetery like what was that noun? Lights. Light, yes. Lots of floodlights. Whole Someone pile. is breathing heavily. Is it me? No. That's probably me. Okay. I've, I'm moving the mic a little bit, so uh, I don't know if it'll help or not. And actually, I think that, thank you, Catherine, and you did it as, as Harry. So if you narrate the page as your character, reality TV confessional cell, choose two. So clear condition and shift one of your labels up and one of your labels down. I will definitely clear a condition. Also, take a look at your character sheet because I don't know if you noticed, there is a move that you have on your sheet that you actually got to take advantage of. The legacy matters, and we didn't mention it during play, but it definitely counts. When you take influence over someone from your legacy or give them influence over you, which they already have, so that's not going to happen right now, mark potential, mark potential, and take plus one forward. Um, and also, when anybody from your legacy causes your labels to shift, you mark potential and take plus one forward. Oh, so, that's why there was an additional thing. Yes, you have an additional one because your dad, Silverstreak, is so verklempt, I think is honestly the best word for this, uh, about the fact that you know kind of what was what the what the league's been doing to kind of cover this whole thing up that he you have influence over him whoa so you have influence also, over that so you get him you got influence over you have influence over silver Street. he still has influence over you that didn't change ding yes so that dings you and you should have uh no. actually you probably have another in fact, when you get done and zero that out, leave yourself with one potential because you should still. There was one that happened a while back where Silver Streak moved your labels, and I know you didn't get potential for it, because um, I didn't know about this move, or I didn't realize it was there. I didn't remember it, or it could be a hundred different things. Anyway, uh, that's cool. Yeah, it is. When your when your family screws with you, you get XP. 
basically. Sweet. If they move your labels, you get XP, and if you can manage to get potential, if you can get, and you actually kind of have a doorway to getting influence over your mom too. She's not quite as easy as your dad, but because of all the stuff that's happened, um, a successful kind of verbal showdown with your mom might get you influence with her too at some later date. So stick a pin in that and stick it on a cork board because that's an option there. So while everything else here is going on, you can certainly scribble in if you want to that you you see the advancements down here, um, adding the advancement for your, uh, I, I'm assuming you're unlocking those other two abilities. Yeah. yeah that's what I figured. Sweet. So you because got there was some residual body muscle memory left over from when Concord came. <laughs> well, it's got to be if it's a mental block and you see that your body can do it, you know you can do. I mean, you literally know it's possible. Phased. Now, I think it is a uh, negative reinforcement. <laughs> It's that There's nothing I've like, messed up so many times. There's nothing like somebody else like showing you up to really make you finally step up that last little step. So you'll notice that I put Silver Streak over in your influence list just so you have it and don't forget that you have it. Because you get basically when you have influence over somebody, you get plus one against them and stuff like provokes and uh, uh, um pierce the mask and stuff like that, you get plus one against them. So just so you know, that's the thing that happens. So shift one label up, one label down, clear condition, and scribble in that thing that unlocks your other abilities. We'll have to see. I mean, it'll be, I'd like to make sure that we call that out when you finally use that ability or, you know, yeah, all that kind of good stuff. All right. We are going to then jump to... Uh, since we Harry ended with this with Charlotte spotting all the thing, we will move to Charlotte in Link's body with Numina riding interior side saddle inside the suit. Numa on the opposite on Otto's opposite shoulder, and Otto. What's his? I, I just want to visualize this myself. So, Leo, what's Otto's? Flying mode look like when he's not linked with you, but like you're sort of riding a top kind of thing. Because I'm, I'm I'm having trouble not seeing Big Hero Six, so I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Except he doesn't need wings. Um, wings actually would probably be a bad idea for him. Uh, but basically, a couple of big thrusters with some attitude jets here and there to to kind of stabilize and balance out. So it's, uh, it's almost like a v like a VTOL kind of scenario yeah sure okay I, i'm just i'm just trying to think you know i was trying to envision it he's in that in that like in this is it the same way when he's sort of linked when he's linked up? Uh, i mean you could probably use rockets either as a car or as a robot um they're just they would be designed to fold out from areas that are exposed to the outside in both cases cool uh, and he has some internal adjustment over those as well so, I mean, yeah, he, sh he should be pretty flexible about it. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, that I, I just want to make sure I've got a, a good image for it. Um, okay. So, we'll start with – so, Charlotte, you're kind of clinging to – there's anchor points there on the back of auto. Like, there's anchor points in most places on the link stuff. Um, and you're looking down – let's get you over here. Oh, we need more snow down. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Yeah, maybe, maybe not for this map. That might be a little bit much. Um, uh, maybe just a few snowflakes. It's never too get, much. Get the extra, 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 extra large pen. <laughs> just, no. <laughs> yeah, and you... Yeah, and Done. You got, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. As we find out why MMOs have so many winter zones. Um, 
so much simpler to animate. Uh, okay, so there's, and let me just, I mean, I don't know. So Charlotte, you're in over the, you're probably coming in from this direction over yonder. Okay. And okay. probably, yeah, I mean, I, mean ugh, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on. don't know why I did that. That was unintentional. <laughs> Probably about moving as, the ma mausoleum. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> probably about as big as this ping. Okay. Is lit up. In what way? Uh, floodlights and stuff. Uh, uh, the portable kind of. Hang on. On. Not good. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Here. Uh, grab that. I like this is uh I feel like a screenwriter sometimes. It's just like do this but cooler and, and high tech. Here. Do this in the chat, but cooler and high tech. <laughs> okay, but like, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of like the scene from uh, Thor's hammer. <laughs> yes, actually, it looks a lot, kind of like that. Like if, like if you had some group had like come in and just swarmed in around something, and just dropped in as much like instantaneous security as they could, um, and the lights. Yes, this. Yes, shield around as they assembled around Thor's hammer. That is a great. That's a great example. I'm sure by the time we finish talking, somebody will have it up. So bright lights, uh, which also means, of course, areas of shadow, harsh shadow. Um, uh, what else? Doesn't quite reach your marker, as you can see from the ping. Close. Um, but they definitely, the activity seems to be obviously focused around the mausoleum. So. And when you say higher tech, does it look like foreign tech, like for Kovan tech, or does it look oh, just like. Definitely, this place. Military tech. The place screams Vyrtovian tech. Um, everything you're seeing here, and so do the, um, honestly, so do the uh, guys. I mean, the. the um, some in one of our threads and I might have to rely on somebody else to find this because I don't want to dig around while I'm trying to think too but there was a thread that we had where we sort of collected high tech stuff or just for your Tovian tech stuff is that right? I think we did didn't we? Uh, some of that got posted on uh, the art thread and or the tech thread and uh, there's some that's on uh, Pinterest as well Oh right. So, oh, right. What are you looking for specifically? I was uh, like the the Virtovian uh, uniform stuff. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, oh, the, the, the riot police stuff. The riot police stuff and and things. Uh, like that's that. a, that's out of the wiki. Oh, is it? Cool. Yeah. So, if you want the <laughs> grab. Assets. Nice. Lovely. Yeah, so like the weird face plates, more of a tan thing. I'm going to save that someplace. They're they're more <laughs> sepia toned. Yes, uh, I'm gonna go there. Why is my browser freaking out? Oh, severe tokens. It. I think that's actually possible. Um, let's see that there. The turbines marching. All right, close that. All right, so 
So is, are you talking a dark tan or a light tan for that sort of? Give me a one second. I will pull up kind of the color scheme because I'm basing it off of the art for the Dread Queen, who mm. is somewhere. Duh. Where the heck I is Dread, I Dread Queen in the wiki. There we go. It's not exactly here. Oh, that didn't do mm -hmm. any good. Do, do, do. I mean, she's under the, yeah. I'll just drop it out here. And so kind of that color scheme. It's not, it's not all tan. It's, there's some darks. There's some, some earth, earth tones. Some olive and khaki. Olive and khaki, yeah. Probably doesn't look super exciting when it's dropped on the military stuff, but you know what it is, what it is. I, you know, olive and khaki kind of goes real well with military stuff. Indeed, indeed it does. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Were you wearing it from Vertovia? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's a little bit bigger than I needed, but you know, whatever. A lot bigger than I needed. Shocking. So these guys are around. Um, you do not. Is see she them. around? No. You don't see okay, her. Okay, thank or, you. You don't see her around at this time. Uh, you do see. No, nobody sees her around until it's too late. Got it. You do see uh, at least one of these guys parked. Oh, let me see. I'll show you. Whoa. Whoa. Very big. They are big. Um, I want you to. So, scope wise, Margie, this is a so flying device, right? Um. If you can imagine 20 guy like around that central open area, 20 guys along each straight edge. Okay. And then like being able to jump out and sort of like ab seal or rappel down from there. Um, so it's a it's a good sized craft. It's it's like a it's like a, a smaller school bus. Sure. Yeah. I mean, certainly that center section is, you know, got that much size and one of those is parked right about here sort of at the edge of the light if that's let me see did i get that right yeah let's put it a little bit closer right about here one of those and then there's a couple of smaller craft that look like they would like sort of convert between like a four-man aerial craft and like a four-man ground craft like the wheels would pivot and become these sort of bladeless v Vertical takeoff and landing Important. fans. Uh, let me grab one. Of, I'm, I'm hoping this image isn't ridiculously large, but there's a couple of these um, that looks like they brought in. There you go. It's too big, but take that, take the fans away and put like four guys inside. Okay. So they've got tech up and around and they must have moved with a quickness because there are, I mean, 40, 50 guys in that in that area and a couple other ones that are, I mean, that's just for troops and stuff. They, the activity certainly seems to be uh, focused around the mausoleum from what you can see. And again, you're pretty far out. You it's a bit of a beehive of activity that mostly the people are in military uh, attire like this. Um, there are a few that are more in these robes. Okay. Uh, less less military looking, still uniform looking, but in the uniform way that that a that laboratory Gover that laboratory staff are uniformly attired. Yeah, government hypertech or magic or yeah, yeah. Okay. So specialists of some kind or another, and I don't. I mean, tell me what you want to do. And Otto's quickly as like, are we going closer? Are we dive bombing these bozos? Are we gonna wait for backup we gotta get everybody here well i'm gonna be kind of visible up here in the sky so unless you want to you know swat i don't know crazy why Iceland don't we all the way. why don't we uh and drop down um behind the I don't know how many, yeah it's gonna say behind the that big thing or behind these these lower houses yeah okay I mean, I can get up. Do you want me to drop it's in on right the? Here. Do you want me to drop in on the roof so we can still watch these guys? Or if we're not too heavy. 
I am light as a feather. I am lying, but I, yeah, I, th I think the roof will take us. Okay. Um, okay, so, yeah, he comes in. Back. And, and brings it down quite gently there on the top of that. So you guys are kind of behind this, I don't know, whatever it is, air conditioning unit or something up there at the top. Um, so you can kind of take on. Whether or not you were spotted, eh, who knows? The guys do seem pretty focused on what's going on down there in the cemetery. So they might be looking for something, but if you guys aren't coming closer, they're not likely to take issue. And you had called out for assistance. Is that correct? Did we lose somebody? Looks like we lost. Looks like we lost Margie. No, I'm here. Who did I? Am I oh, not here? You're you're not showing up on roll twenty. It's not a big deal. Oh, because I was trying to make the icon smaller. I think I got rid of my own icon. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Okie doke. All right. So, with that, um, what do you do? Um, okay, so I've you've you've shouted directed. for help. If you're just if you just want to get on comms with other folks, or we can switch over to somebody else, and and we'll have you watching this business. Yeah, I mean, I'll, we I'll still just have you... telepathy, don't we? Yes, we still have telepathy. We still have telepathy. Even with Mercury. Did did I say that? Yeah, Mercury and Concord are yeah. still in the in the connection, right? I have to make sure not yep. to say in the link. Um, yes. Yes. So that is still a thing. Charlotte's in the link. Yeah, Charlotte's. <laughs> Everyone's in Be the connection. Be careful what you're saying, dear. <laughs> Everyone's in the connection, but Charlotte's in the link. Right. Um, so let's go around here real quick. Uh, if I remember right, Concord is currently like sort of passed out in the quill disk. <laughs> Does that seem that that's that was basically right? Um, host regenerative state. Right. Host regenerative state. I want to hear a little bit more about that. We're going to have you uh, narrate a bit of what you're seeing here in just a little bit, um, unless you want me to, in which case I can come up with something. Oh, no. This is prepping for something we had already talked about. Right. So you know where we're going with that. Never mind. Uh -huh. uh, okay. It's so. Full of stars. <laughs> Leo is in. Uh, Jason and oh he's driving Jason's this. Yeah. So where are you? Where are you? You were headed back to the Quill compound because uh, uh, A10 had grabbed. They thought they had grabbed two guys. They have one in custody, and in the process of sort of disarming him, they very excitedly inform you that pulling the bag away from this bozo actually lets the kids back out of the bag. Pulling their little Christmas sack. Um, I don't know who had seen that social media thing, but she, uh, A10 actually did a retweet of, or a, a everybody make sure and re retweet this so everyone sees it. But if you get the sacks away from these Krampus looking jackasses, they, the kids actually like are forcibly ejected from the sack. I did see that. Um, I was a little more interested in the book from the 1950s to talk about Vyartovia. Right. That yeah, still right. seems like a an anomaly. My goal is to actually get that book and get that in Charlotte's hands because she seems to be on top of the whole Virtovian history and situation. Right. So I want to see if there's anything that if she can see that, if anything jumps out at her about it. Skylar or Skylark. Um, Stingray was coming back with that. Uh, and he can divert. He was headed back to the main to the. Um, league tower. The league tower, but he can head back to the quill compound if that makes more sense. Uh, I think that's fine, and, and I probably don't actually have any business at the compound if 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 that's going to happen. Uh, it sounds like we want to get the book from him and then go straight to wherever Charlotte's camped okay. out. I thought, well, I thought we wanted to use the compound, the, some of the the holding facilities there for uh, whichever Yule lad it is that got captured. Uh, yeah, but it sounds like the the NPC heroes. It seems like they have that covered. If that's not the case, I'll lend a hand. But it, it sounded like they were on top of it. I think it's mostly for authorization purposes because they can't just go waltzing into the quill compound and say, okay, okay then yeah, I will be there for that. Yeah. Um, I will see if I can 
um, like set up a video link or something so Charlotte can see the book that much faster then. Okay. okay. All right. Harry, you are not in the disc unless you want to be. Uh, I'm not getting back in that thing until <laughs> a proper driver is there. Leo has been doing very well, if a little bit more aggressive on the uh, stick than... I Jay. fell out of that disc. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, what are uh, you... Well, actually, put the student driver bumper sticker on the back. What do you want? Well, I'll also <laughs> remind you, you could fly at that time. Not really. <laughs> Not well, certainly. Um, all right. So what, what are you doing? Are you headed for Charlotte? Are you headed to link up with a 10? Uh, are you, what are you, what are you doing? Over to Charlotte so that if by chance, some of the Virtovians spot her, she'll have someone else there. Well, that's probably then, uh, uh, Leo, that's probably the fastest thing you can do is to have Harry uh, meet Stingray and grab the book and bring it to Charlotte. That way, that you, can, that that way you, that. Can, you can do the thing and she can get the book and that's all done. Um, Charlotte. Where is Charlotte? Which is to say, Jason. Jason. Um, I think I was going back to the quill compound as well in case um, so you can murmur in Leo's ear about not, the passcodes yeah, and stuff. Yeah, not non non biometric uh, passcodes were needed for uh, anything that we needed doing. Right. But I'm a little concerned that we found this or they reported this activity over at the cemetery. So anything we can do to expedite things here. Um, would okay. Be good. That can be done very, very quickly. Um, the administrative AI is still essentially Byron, but Byron has been a lot less combative the last day or so. So, um, the, you know, a few pass cords that you kind of coach Leo on briefly um, as you're pulling up there and uh, the voice authorization gets it done. And you had already kind of used the, I want to say like sort of a, hyperbarometric chamber that you put ghost heart in to uh put this yule lad into um he do is we know, do we know which one it is based on oh, that's a really good question let me let me go grab do, do, do. where's the notes where's the notes no no's no 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 i didn't say they were good villains i said they were accurate villains um do, 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 do. They're really pissing me off. So they're good villains. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one was, uh, yeah, we're gonna go with Spoon Licker because he's the dude with the really long tongue, which is super creepy. And he was apparently using it as like a grabby lasso kind of Ew. scenario. Freezing. Yeah, it was. A ten kind of goes. It was, and she kind of twitches and goes, unpleasant. Um, he also can't seem to get it back into his mouth all the way because he's sort of holding it and cradling it and kind of whimpering to himself a little bit. So whatever she did to make him stop using that was probably fairly painful. Um, so he's kind of uh, uh, in there. Okay, so that can be taken care of quite quickly. And these guys are ready to go back out and just start looking for these dudes on flyby. Um, A10 and Telkinesha can both fly. Um... So, and uh, animals really good at finding them. So they're they're getting it sorted out. Um, they're they're fine with continuing to do that if unless you guys need help wherever it is that you've got other business going on. Uh, I think we definitely need to to rescue these people. We'll we'll take care of the cemetery stuff. Okay. All right. Yes. I'll we're we're getting to it. Try to. They're yelling a lot of stuff about. They're like. I don't know. They're acting really weird. Like I can't quite figure out what's going on because they're they're like grabbing people, but at the same time, it's like they're being like they're really angry about it. They're being controlled. Sure. Yeah. Because I mean, the cat kind of indicated it was against her will that that yeah. that she was doing what you know she. 
based on yeah, like... based on what you guys based on that and this extra information that eight is providing, it would seem these guys are being compelled, um, mm -hmm. and it's it's they're being compelled within their nature, but they're being compelled against their preferences, and they're not happy about it. Whether or not you could leverage any of that or anything like that is neither here nor there, but uh, that, that's something for you guys to, to work out. But um, there is, you know, ancient Yuletide beings are being compelled against their wishes. Seems as though you might be able to leverage that if you really needed to. So the question is how. I'm, I'm going to ask a random question over the link. Um, hey, Charlie, you said there's there's people in the in the cemetery area? Yes. Like soldiers? Yeah, there's, there's soldiers. Like over 18 soldiers? Vercovian soldiers, as well as some um, Vercovian special, I don't know, mystic sources. I think, he's, I think they're not asleep. Yeah. Let's, oh, no. Well, let's try to figure out why that is, too, while we're at it. Well, they probably want to cause to sleep, so... Maybe. Yeah, but, but we might be able Maybe. to leverage or that. Or they or they came in after the sleep. I don't know. Yeah. Although well, and nobody's really been testing whether or not if they get too close to the city they fall asleep. Like no no adults have done it. So it may be a a one time thing that could you know, it's like a, a one time burst, kind of an EMP pulse of sleep. Or or there's zombies. Affected, or there or there's zombies. I like I like where Jason's going with this. Oh, Let's what was that? Cyborgs. Cyborgs. They might have some cyborg sort of, zombies. They might have some sort of warding tech. Uh, a couple of possibilities. There are def they are definitely outliers though. They are definitely that is a great spot, Leo. They are definitely not obeying the rules as they've been established for everybody else for some reason or another. And figuring out why might be how wooed. Down darned useful. Okay. Okay. I mean, if they got something on them and we could take that thing away, then hey, just yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> Sleepy time. Um, we okay. have a ton of superheroes who could really use that. Yep. Um. So. Back to Charlotte. Well, actually, Harry. Actually, actually, Harry, have you tried taking an adult outside of the city limits? Like racing your dad out or something? See if he wakes up when you get outside the city? No. I, I Teensy Bit had the case of the wrong body. Yeah. No, now. <laughs> well, he's bringing you the book first, but then you could try that, certainly. Uh, I will note that there's a snowstorm, which probably would slow me down. A little bit. I mean, it, I'll, I'll, I'll tell him to fix that shit then. It's, That's prob his job. it's probably, I don't know. Depends on where, on where they, what the effect range is. Um, getting outside of the greater city area is probably five minutes at a dead run. Carrying somebody maybe a little bit more, but. Um, Keep me warm. Let's check that out first. Um. Uh, all right, so um, Stingray comes gliding down, uh, kind of glides down to the street where you're at, Harry, and, and kind of stops and it's, does that sort of almost like a paraglider landing, like he's like he's jogging along as he comes to a stop. It's like, all right, Gail, I guess librarian delivery done. Uh, what are you guys working on? What is this? Uh Wait, where am I right now? So this is you meeting up with Stingray for him to give you the book on the uh, Viortovians, the big Viortovian text that Taz had. Um, sure, I was that you're gonna bring near the graveyard. Well, yeah, this was, where he was at was not anywhere near the graveyard, so you kind of ran out to meet him so you didn't have to wait for him. It was the fastest way to get the book to Charlotte, I think was the thing. Yeah. Okay. What did you What did you tell him? Stingray. I mean. High school science project. <laughs> um. Never not throw shade at Stingray, I guess. Apparently, that's the theme for the night. Well, he was a jackass. It is true. Uh, we're 
hoping we may find some clues in here as to how to defeat these monsters. Okay. Buffy, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Uh, right. You go and do Better that. Idea? You know what, man? You do you, I guess. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go back and see if I can get the real superheroes to wake up. All right. Surprisingly <laughs> useful thing for you to do. I just realized after I said it that he self-burned himself by referring to them as the real superheroes when he's one that's still awake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Self-burn. You don't see those every day. Good jobs. Good, good, good job, Stingray. Well, well done. All right. Um, so you can un, you can run pretty easily to where Charlotte is by virtue of sharing sort of the link and knowing when you're getting closer and stuff like that. And so far, uh, pretty effective range on this thing. It's been a couple of miles and you're still kind of within range. So at least, you know, headset radio distance. That's pretty good as far as the link goes. If it weren't for the body swapping thing, this would be awesome. The body swapping thing is a little bit of a problem. Okay. So you come running up to Charlotte on the rooftop. Otto has been, um, Otto and, hmm, I shouldn't speak. Uh, Leo, does Otto have some sort of like, or, or Numa or the suit, Zoomy Vision? Stuff? Yeah, that's what I asked last time. So I thought we were at the, the max of what we were. Yeah, they're gonna have. They're gonna. Have, they're not gonna have like these amazingly complicated super tech sensors, but they're gonna have um, like a reasonably high tech land warrior type sensor suite. So that'll include like night vision, um, telescopic optics, and that kind of stuff. So yeah, up to like you know a couple. Okay, so that'll give you a little bit more intel about what's going on out there. That's fine. Um, from where you guys are, that's four or five, maybe six hundred yards, maybe. Um, so yeah, the definitely soldiers, you got some specialists. Um, none of the lights, the lights all just seem to be like sort of spikes that they drive in the ground with these sort of like, lum like lumin illuminating areas on the, t on the end. Um, so okay. Not, um, the, uh, there is one sort of big piece of equipment near the cemetery that whether it's a generator or I mean, it looks like a generator to him and it, it looks pretty good sized. Um, it also appears to be hovering about a foot and a half off the ground as near as he can, as near as you guys can tell. Um, yes, on, on, on some kind of anti-grav or hovercraft yeah. something so, so that they can move it around. Yeah. Are they they're actually going into the dirt? What are what are they actually doing? They up. Uh, why don't you? Okay, you've got the book. You've got the recon. So let's have and assess the situation, which is. And pretty much any of you guys, thanks to the link, can pretty much chip, chip on this with the possible exception of Concord, who is snoozing away uh, in the back of the quill. I, I really, what I want is the propulsion unit on the, on the perfectly round quill disc to kind of stick out a little bit in one direction. So when you look at it from the top, it looks like a Q. Um, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, XP. No. <laughs> yeah, check XP. Ooh. Oh, my God. Goodness. Check XP a couple of times. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. That is a, oh, you have a minus one. Oh, you must have a condition. You have to have a condition. I guess you don't have to have a condition. Oh, it's superior. I am not superior. Oh, yeah. Not, 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 not my. Uh... <laughs> oh, so that minus one is just an honest to God minus one. Provoking. Hey, listen, it's better than my danger. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> He okay. could never provoke someone. Um, okay. Now, what we would do is we would provoke Leo into provoking someone. Yeah. <laughs> That's That's kind of job. Okay. Have so... influence <laughs> on him. <laughs> so. Give me just a second here. So, so I'm assuming I'm checking. Uh... Yes, by all means, check XP because, well, 
I don't. Yeah, we don't have enough to get you to a success at this point in time with the team. There just isn't. Enough and even if we all helped, um, would not help. Yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, four of you helping would only get it up to a six anyway. So, a two is a two is a two is a two. Um. Well, I will. I will say that levels me. Well, hey. <laughs> you, you learn. You learned a thing. Okay. Can I can I use a you know, links superior? No. <laughs> I have his big brain. You do have his big brain. Um. You can use my freak, which is a minus two. Mm. That's actually, <laughs> actually worse than her superior right now. See, your superior was actually pretty good a while back because you did all that library stuff. That was all superior roles. Um, so yeah. It's, it's been shifted about some. A little bit. Yeah. That's what I like about this game. I like it so much. Uh, anyway, so. Right, right, right. We're going to. All right. I'm going to pause on that because I got to I got to think about that. That's uh, okay. Harry, you're on the rooftop there with Charlotte. You're seeing the situation. What are you doing? Um. I like that. Um. Not ruling a two. So now might be a now good you, time now to you adjust him. Now might be a good time to what? To help. Well, I mean, the the main way of helping in the system is with t team points, and you guys literally do not have enough in the pool to help. Um, you could also, I mean, well, yeah, you could also. No, I think I'm just doomed. Well, yeah, I'm working on your. I'm working no, on that too. Basically. I'm working that too here in a second. Um. Now seems a really good time to go and see if these adult superheroes wake up once they're outside the city limits. <laughs> so I can get as far away from here as possible. Nice. All right. Apologize for the deads. I wasn't expecting a two, so I'm... Well, I wasn't either, so okay. there we go. All right. All right. I mean, the easy version is like a strike force to, to send off one of those like flying things and distract her. But yes, absolutely. But I think, or she forgets that she she's you know not ghost and falls off the building while she's leaning forward trying to see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you were asking what they were doing. They're setting up a bomb. We have to evacuate the city. There, they are. You can see. Um, you, you, you haven't even really had a chance to look at the book because you're watching this stuff. And Harry brings the thing up, and you're like, "Thanks," and sort of absently, and you're looking at the stuff in the in the uh, cemetery. And squinting, you know, trying to use Link's stuff as well as possible, and, and Numinous helping with that as much as she can by sort of running. I have a quick question, uh, Link. If nobody's in the suit, but Numina is in the suit, can she walk around with it? Can she move it? Not without help. There's no skeletal support. So... The, sh the suit only really augments other movement. What if there's somebody in it? Uh, then she can still control the muscles as long as there's like a supporting skeleton in there. So yeah, like she could haul Charlotte around even if Charlotte was unconscious. So, but so if, the, if the suit is vacant, I'm going to come up. Uh, yeah, if the suit's vacant, but if if this is a, obviously a ridiculous example, but if somebody took a human-sized blow-up doll and stuck it inside the suit to keep it. <laughs> I, I can honestly say Leo's never considered that possibility. Um, I, I would say anything, anything with the with the rough, roughly approximate strength of right. bone will work. 
So if it's a blow up doll, maybe not. I had to, uh, I had yeah, to, I, I had to stop asking the question because I realized that like if somebody put a my question was going to if somebody put a blow up doll inside of the suit to keep it erect and I just had to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> because okay, so if you're Toby and HR, I would like to have a word with you. <laughs> I, I was just curious how, to what extent her, her, uh, like control. So anyway, Numina's like running the, the, the HUD as much as possible and zooming in, but you're quickly, you're, you're often double checking your stuff with Numina and, or sorry, with Numa and Otto. It's like, are you seeing what I'm seeing kind of stuff? So while you're looking and Harry comes up here, you're looking at the thing and you're seeing in the mausoleum, um, Some weird looking tech. It's about the size of like I'm gonna I wanna say like a like a, a a generator that's strong enough to like run the electricity for a house. So probably three feet by two feet by two feet kind of a device. It's definitely what you associate with the kind of technology that Link and Jason come up with, and not the kind of technology that you buy at Ace Hardware. Well. And it has, it's being walked into the mausoleum, Charlotte. And it pretty much looks like that kind of tech, except it has this stuff on it. Oh, more of that. And they're taking it into what you think of as ground zero for the hole to the other side. They're going to do something. And it looks like this thing is like literally like the, 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 the pustules are pulsing. And not like, not like, uh, not in a good way, not in a muscular, (laughs) not, not in a muscular way, but in a light way, like they're pulsing with light and the light is accelerating even as, the they are they are planting a bomb see i was right it's a bomb it's something it's definitely something uh given what that thing is and what where you have seen that stuff before you would it, it almost it almost has to have something to do with the connection between this realm the shadow realm there is no shadow realm in that area so if if this if they're trying to do something that Breaks them apart or Exa- brings them together. Well, exacerbates that connection to the Shadow Realm. It could rip a hole right through. You know, and... we were told... Go ahead, Harry. To put, like, the smallest of things put into the Shadow Realm would... Good. And I rip feel a hole. like the League is onto something right now. Yeah. Um, so the other two key bits of information here, the light was the light in these pustules and also the machine were pulsing and they were pulsing faster, even as you were watching them carry it in. And as it was getting closer to the mausoleum and the pulsar thing, you see the guys who are both directing, there's a couple soldiers sort of guiding it. And then there's the coded, the, the long coded guys who are sort of alongside of it. As the lights start to accelerate, you actually see them like gesturing, like, like go 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 kind of like we need to get where we're going because this is going to happen like very quickly it's a bomb it's a something uh it's and it, the most the biggest frustration for you at this point in time shaped interdimensional charge <laughs> the biggest problem the biggest frustration for you charlotte at this point in time is as amazing as link's brain is and amazing as his suit is is every single tool that you have for figuring out what the hell that thing is you don't have right now because you need your sight you need your knowledge you need your abilities Jason. <laughs> uh but there this is Otto says, okay, so whatever they're doing is going to happen in enough, in, in literally a minute. What are we going to do? Because we don't have time to not do something right now, or we don't have time to wait for anybody. What are we going to do? Hey, yo, speedster. Hey, yo, speedster. True. We need to, to get that out of there. Okay. We- Where's a better place to put it, though? Away from the... See, 
so and i'm only repeating this because i'm not 100 percent sure uh how much this has become clear to other folks but uh the spot around the mausoleum and it's not as big as this ping is a weak spot yeah if if the if the <laughs> this is a terrible analogy but if the if your current reality is a slice of bread and the sepia verse is another slice of bread the shadow realm that uh charlotte moves through and that ghost heart to a certain extent with his demonic summonings and stuff seems to influence uh is the peanut butter and jelly in between and this spot right here there is no there there is no filling there is no there is no filling at all so when you try to step so it when it's you, the hole in the Swiss cheese. Yeah, when you when it's you a crappy peanut butter and jelly. It's a crappy peanut butter, but there used to be, and something that Everard and and Doctor Infinity did while they were doing this, uh, almost in a rever in a reverse version of whatever woke Charlotte up has eradicated that inner lining. So where she would normally step into the shadow realm at the spot, she can instead step right down into the other um, the thing. Cool. So basically, anywhere other than here. Yeah. That is an excellent way of summing it up. Um, anywhere other than here. Charlotte, what are you doing? Otto's like ready. He's like, hop on, man. If we got to get down there and get that thing out, I am all about punching some dudes. I have been playing Wolfenstein, man. I am ready to go. So, so I have a basic problem. Y yes. I know I have a two hanging over my head. <laughs> Wait. So, am I that is really a Margie problem, not a Charlotte. Problem. I know. I'm trying to disassociate. He's so mad. I'm trying not to be. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to 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 not be meta. So I'm just putting it out there so I sound like I'm meta. Hey, do remember that two could be put somebody on the spot. I think this is the two, but I have some Leo advice for you. Just punch it. Just punch. <laughs> <laughs> Leo is all about just punching it. I, I like that. I, I'm thinking of uh, maybe instead of just punching right here, just punching something, you know, to, more to one side to try and dry pe draw people away from the, you know, what they're doing, so that that uh, Mercury has a better chance of getting in and out without. Yeah, I mean, if you want. Because that'll alert them and they'll start, they might actually, you know, seal off the mausoleum or something. In a, in a well, way. Harry's fast enough that, that it's more about, if your deal is, you're going to. I'm gonna, baby now. If your deal I, is. I, I want to create a distraction for Harry. If, okay. Uh, let, me, okay. let me also just real quick. Yeah, auto has some auto scale grapples. Uh, he can do some real wide area effect. Like, don't, don't hold back. You can okay. do this. Yeah, Otto's got some big. And big big guns. Do you want to link okay. up? Do you, for this, do you want to link up? What are the... Uh, Leo, remind me. When Numa adds herself to your suit, because... She's, she is fast, Otto is strong, and can fly. Okay, so okay. the difference between your suit by itself and your suit with Numa is, capability-wise, what? Speed. Like, speed. like when, if she is in that suit and Numa is moving at full speed, she is going to get bruises. Okay, all right. So, so Charlotte, if you're you're I mean, you're gonna get bruises. If your idea, <laughs> yeah. so so your so my my plan is to go after the uh, transportation vehicle. Okay, perfect. Give us ten because seconds because that's yes, yeah, that's so... the place that's most likely to brought to wherever for re you know to reinforce it. So if we start. Okay going after them and you know first destroying the ship and then taking on you know whatever we can of the the grunts right um so attack plan alpha so the idea here harry is is she says give us 10 seconds and as she's as link charlotte is saying this she's saying it in her head so you hear charlotte as she's saying this you actually see numa kind of reform around the suit and the legs get longer the legs get more i'm gonna say almost i mean 
she like more more just more powerful taller um and i in a weird way that i and i please shut me up if i say this but in a weird way the whole mass becomes less masculine and more androgynous looking in a weird way there's not a face but yeah i feel like that's it, there's modifications to the way the suit actually appears in terms of the way it presents uh gender wise and stuff but anyway give us 10 seconds and then go for that thing whatever that thing is okay <laughs> is that is that cool I'm sorry i'm, I'm looking at days back yeah. and jeff Her. not the nuns it's, it's it's the whole series of days you just can't get rid of a bomb Oh, please tell me one of these is Batman running with a yep. yep. <laughs> yes, yes. They're, they're all. They're all. Uh, I'm gonna find the. Uh, find, find the, find the, the last. Video. The last one in particular. The one with the baby. Well, yes, because, because it's, it starts out with a whole series of independent encounters, and then they're all converging on the same section of the pier. So he's running back and forth, and there's nuns, and there's a the young couple, and there's the baby carriage, and there's the baby ducks in the water, and yep. Some days you just you can't, just can't get, get rid of a bomb. <laughs> Indeed, that is that's good stuff. All right, well that's weird. Huh. All right. Well, oh I think I know where that is. All right, so. Charlotte, what are you doing? Did you, okay, when you said, did you actually shout like, Jason, I need you to get here? Charlotte? As, as, as yeah, all I this mean, was coming my, down? Yeah, I mean, in my head is, I, I can't see these damn things. I need, Jason, get here. Okay. <laughs> and then I. And then you suit up. Building and commit. <laughs> Link, do you, commit. Leo, do you legitimately say like, you know, he did. Like, I did, can you feel? Him. <laughs> I know you. I know you said it, but did you say it? Like, just like Charlotte, just get in there and punch it. Yeah, that's totally legit. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love it. All right, you actually can. Yeah, right. I love it. All right, so you got your. She's suiting up and she leaps off the thing and is sprinting basically across the cemetery. Uh, you know the terrain, which is awesome. You are not entirely used to having. There's a couple of. Uh, grave markers that get damaged because you're used to being able to fly through stuff. Um, so there's a little bit of that, but you definitely know the terrain. Um, you get... Harry, this is OC knowledge. Right about here. Otto's right with you. Now, actually, Otto's still... He's sort of flying in and you're running in. So he's like coming in on top. So you see Otto fly in over top of the thing and he drops onto it. Well, actually he, he throws out a couple of, of tether cables onto like the side nasals where they're meant to like provide the upward momentum. And he continues to fly over it far enough that when he comes down, it actually flips the whole thing. Cool. Um, Harry sees that. Charlotte, you don't see that. <laughs> Jason, um, Jason, when you heard her say, uh, uh, Jason, I need you to get here, what do you do? You were at the quilt well, compound. Can, you were yeah. just wrapping up yeah. all that stuff real quick. Right. I can move through shadows, can't I? You I've can. Seen, I've, 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 I've seen her. Well, that's the only way I can possibly get there close enough or fast enough. Yes, that's correct. I picture myself moving through shadows, because what could possibly go wrong doing that? All right. I'm going to have you unleash your powers and answer that question. I, I think that's a fine thing to have to have. Uh, unleash. Oh, good. Freak. I'm, I'm low on my freak. <laughs> Why I'm low on my freak? Who knows? But uh, let's find out. I think I think Joy's intentionally, you know, put us in bodies that want to do things that are opposite what our bodies do. And so... That's all the well, life, though. An eight's that not bad. That was a palpable hit. El El an eight is not bad. No. Yeah. Oh, this worries me. Little Alicia is typing. Okay. Oh. Do I even want to know? Oh. Oh. 
can't hear anything. All right, well, I'll fix that in a little bit. Uh, all right. We like it when little Alicia can't hear anything. <laughs> it means he can't hear us. Okay, so I'm just going to look at, let me look at the basic moves here. We're going to unleash our powers. You are definitely overcoming an obstacle. On a hit, you do it on a 7 to 9. Uh, mark a condition, or the GM will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. I'm not sure if stepping into the Shadow Realms you want it to be unstable or temporary, but then again, it might make the most sense to you. You might not be too keen on the idea of picking up more conditions, too. That's fair. Well, I've only got one condition at the moment, so... Yeah. So you could um, certainly... I mean, I could certainly see insecure. Um, I could see... I can see afraid because, you know, you, Jason boldly creepy. steps into the shadows in one side and comes out the other side, his eyes white as saucers. Um, you know, I think I like that better than um, a an unstable or temporary. That's fair. That's cool. Um, all right. So you step into the Shadow Realm of... Uh, shadows in the Charlotte did the shadow we haven't really talked about this too much are they completely in their appearance I think we had had them sort of not to be ironic uh, be s somewhat shadow the appearance of the area in which they appear like they kind of look like where they, they kind of correlate to, to the real world. Is that fair? Or are they completely yeah. different weird stuff? Well, I think it, it kind of, it, it kind of depends like how you're focusing, you know? Okay. So, so it's like with a camera, if you focus far away, you, you know, you can see the weirdness, kind of the real world and you focus close in, you can see just the weirdness. And so, you know, if the weirdness is, is corresponding to to actual points in the in the real world then you can sort of see like if somebody's wrapping around a building yeah. you would be able to see that but it kind of depends upon where you where you train your your focus yeah, yeah. It, and reality is what what jason doesn't know is like when i travel through shadow it's really point to point it's not i'm going to go into the shadow and walk over someplace else it's sort of like i want to come out in a shadow over there yeah it's not quite <laughs> It's not quite inst it's not quite instantaneous, but I think it's fair to say yeah. it's like um, I'm I'm not it's shadow. like it's like <laughs> let's, let's let's try this idea out. So when you're in shadow and you talk about you can see the real world when you kind of focus away. So when you're moving, you focus away, kind of where you want to be, and then you step and you move a lot further because you're focusing far out and you kind of move where you're focused. So they're like seven league boots, seven league boots in terms of like moving around like you take a step and whoop, and you take another step and zoop, and you're like it zooms in really fast i've got a perfect video to illustrate this a little bit but i'm not going to try to hunt that down right now um jason not knowing any better is focusing on the really local area and is freaking out a little freaking bit out. because they're very creepy all right so that's happening leo you heard this as well um, they're wrapping up their stuff. They're getting ready to go. Do you, do you, what do you do? Uh, do they still need to be here or am I not free to go? They're, they're, you're, you're good to go. In fact, there's, um, temporary, temporary permissions for more prisoner drop-offs kind of throughout the evening being granted to A10, uh, to, for, you know, via the Quill AI. You know, no, sounds just, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will try to get over to the cemetery post haste. Okay, all right. Harry, you were giving them ten seconds. Here's what you see: when when Leo, or sorry, Link, jumps off the building, starts sprinting, and gets right about there, uh, right about. Right about there. And plows into the turf. And it's going fast enough that that actually goes for about 15, 15 20 feet. Um, just 
uh, uh, yeah, plows, just plows straight into the turf. Um, didn't so much seem to trip as just, you'd almost think that the, that the power for the suit was cut. Um, although you can still, you can see whatever indicators Leo might have on the outside of the thing as to the fact that it is powered. Those are still lit up. Um, you guys have got the mental link up, but you don't have any way. I mean, you don't necessarily have any radio links up with any of that stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, Leo, you're flying. You've, you've jumped back into the disc Concord. You check on Concord for a hot second and he's still kind of out but seems to be breathing normally. You're up in the air and going, and there is somebody standing right next to you at about, mm, I'm going to say elbow height. <laughs> okay, who's this? Uh, hi. Um, I'm Alicia. She looks like she's about 10 years old. Um, I'm Okay, I'm not Alicia, obviously. I'm not Alicia. You will never escape. <laughs> this is... Okay, short version. Numina says that you, I'm not even sure I really understand this. Numina says that you just went completely unconscious, like coma unconscious uh, at the cemetery. She's trying to get the suit back up, but you are not responding inside. Okay, well, I'm going to do a flyby with the disc. Tell her to grapple the, disc, the, the hover disc. I don't know if I can send her a message. Okay, I'll try, I guess. This might tingle. It fucking burns. Whatever thing this thing is doing, uh, the shirt thing, It's it feels like uh, wherever that thing is touching is like the pins and needles of your body waking up. Kind of like if, you know, your foot falling asleep and waking back up. Um, just very, that plus like, Oh, it was basically frozen, and now it's thawing out on top of that. So uh, it doesn't last very long, but it definitely gets your attention. Oh. I think so. They're going to try and get standing and, and be ready when you get there, I guess. Hi, by the way, whoever you are inside of uh, Jason's head. Where's Jason? <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. What, what's that? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. No, never. You really don't. Okay. Um, okay. Doubling back. Charlotte. Everything goes <laughs> everything goes black and for just a second, completely, utterly, in a weird way, almost deja vu like in its absolute absence of any input sensory input but i'm dead again <laughs> and then you are in the shadow realm uh, i fell out of link's body you hear I look down or yeah. oh yeah it's you and there's also this weird like doubling of vision because like Jason, you're looking around and all of a sudden you're looking down and you didn't do that. And you're getting, okay, hang on. I, I apologize for this for everybody else. But when Charlotte says, um, I fell out of Link's body. What you hear is, I fell out of Link's body. Like you're getting it twice. Does that make sense? You're getting it through the link and you're getting it just a split second faster inside your own head. So the link is still up. But in addition to that, you're just hearing Charlotte's thoughts because you're in the same head. Did I lose everybody? Yeah, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of what could possibly be an appropriate response to that. <laughs> 
there aside is aside from uh, you know just beginning to gibber. Um, there's a wild. There's a wild. You're home early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a there's a. I can't touch anything. I promise. There's a wild. I don't necessarily. I mean, the show is good, but it's it's definitely to particular taste. But in Sense Eight, where you got like these eight people who are linked, uh, yeah. there's a bit in there where. And I think it's in the first season where two of the characters are call they they're having a conversation. They're sitting in a bar together. They're not really together. They're across the planet, and to prove that they're not just hallucinating it, uh, he gives her the phone number for his friend, has her call his friend, and has her friend his friend hand him the cell phone so that they can talk. And the weirdest thing, the completely unexpected thing, is that. They're talking to each other on the cell phone and also talking to each other through this connection that they have. And it gives them the weird mic doubling thing because they're hearing each other talk instantaneously through their connection. But then they're hearing a, a split second later through the cell phone, the, the, the lag through the uh, cell, network, through the cell yeah. network. And it was it was awesome. And I never would it never would have occurred to me. Um, so we'll thank the sensei for that. <laughs> Thinking about that right now. So there that's what's that's what's happening. Um, and it's causing all kinds of craziness and confusion and stuff through everybody's connection because you're kind of getting this doubling. It's well, all... and I'm kind of, I'm kind of the, the the router. Right, and it's you're you're getting it's like the rest of you guys are kind of getting mic feedback. So you... so I don't have any point of reference for that in this game. <laughs> I, yeah, I apologize because I was trying to get the repeat to happen because it happens all the time if I walk into Kaylee's room where she's listening. Um, but mostly what I got was feedback on that one. I apologize. No, no this, is, this is the perfect metaphor. That I, I understood immediately when you were describing this. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm glad because um, <laughs> I'm making this shit up as I go along. Um, <laughs> all right. So no one expects to roll a two. Roll a two. I love when you guys roll twos. It's the best. It is the it is the literal <laughs> best. Harry, you're getting now. So it's been a little bit more than than ten. Well, actually, it's been about ten seconds. There, he plows into the ground, and about five seconds later, you're getting a uh, uh, Charlotte saying, "I fell out of Link's body." And what is what is what does Jason say? Did he say anything, or is it just confused garbled marble arble over from his? Um. Actually, you know what? Yeah, Jason will actually say, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> so, so you know what's on the top of Jason's head. So, you know? So You're the one who wondered how to pee. Tro troops are That's practical. Troops are reacting to Otto's initial attack, but Otto is now looking back because he, outside of whatever is going on with you guys, is getting stuff from Numa and Numina. So he knows what's going on there. So he's suddenly a lot more focused on that. Uh, and whatever just happened to Leo, the troops are coming and Leo is in face down in the dirt and looks like he's, the limbs are kind of flailing around and starting to move. Um, but definitely not the way they were. Harry, what do you do? I think the our main focus or my main focus is getting that bomb away point. Okay. Like make <laughs> sure that it doesn't blow up and hurt and the sepia verse and shadow verse cuz that would be bad. All right. Before we do that, I think it's fair to say that you guys are going up against a enemy, entering a battle against a dangerous foe. Um, I, I, I already think that there's one here that's definitely probably not going to sync up, but we're going to find this out. When you enter battle against a dangerous foe as a team, add two to the team pool. Done. We'll go to four. Right now, who's leading? I'm gonna say Harry. Ooh, I was gonna say Harry. I was gonna say Charlotte. Well, Charlotte. Which one? Jason. 
Which one? It would have been Charlotte until 30 seconds ago. It would have been Charlotte. Well, it would absolutely have been Charlotte until 30 seconds ago. Um, I think it's got to be. leading. No, little Alicia, Alicia. is not leading. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Harry, do you have influence? Hey, if it was her? a trip to Chuck E. Cheese, we'd let Lilisha run. Yes. If, okay, Harry, do you have influence over every teammate? No. Okay. If everyone has the same purpose in the fight, add another team. I don't think that that's probably true. No. Because Harry wants yeah, to stop the bomb. Harry wants to stop the bomb. Leo, do you I'll stop the bomb? The graveyard and the surrounding areas and stuff. It's not. It's not getting the girls out. Uh, I I feel that this is bigger and more important right now. Yes. Okay. All right. That's fair. Uh, day. Uh, I'm gonna say Jason and Charlotte. Sharson. Stop the bomb. We'll call you Sharson. I my 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 proximate impulse was to find out what Charlotte was you know what Charlotte needed right. me but for. But once you um, once you and once I would it, find that out, um yeah I, that's clearly the biggest threat there is to stop the bomb. Okay, all right. Um, it's like for Leo get the girls out is an, is a move that we will do as part of stopping the bomb but like it's that's still if you got to choose between one and the other that's what you do okay okay so we'll add a point of team for that does anybody on the team mistrust harry or the team in general actually i think we're all good right now i seems like it um just it, leave link it's unbodied it's, Unconscious. Actually, everybody, yeah, everybody seems to be performing well despite yes the previous conditions. Um, well, I don't know. Come the forward. conditions seem to be changing. Well, no, no, not. I'm but not. But, I that's mean, even better. I don't mean trust. Concord like, is unconscious. Does he get to vote? I don't mean. I don't mean. <laughs> I don't mean trust in the sense of trust that everybody's going to roll good dice because that's first of all you won't, uh, or right. you will, but that's not. It's about trusting the team not to backstab you, which is... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, if your team is ill-prepared or off-balance, <laughs> I feel as I though think we are. you might be currently off-balance. Continue to be off-balance? Yeah. So we will go... We had, we had two. We had another one for everybody trusting Harry. That's five. And we're back down to four for... Um, Removing a team for the for the ill proof thing, so we're at four. So, right, add two. Wait, did I do that wrong? Add two, add one. Yeah, we're at the four total. Do do do. Deal. Two. To me. All right. Now, with that said, Harry, get the bomb. I need you. Oh, somebody beeped. Somebody beep. Okay, so Harry, I need you to uh, unleash your powers because I need you to overcome fairly significant obstacles to get there. But this could be very awesome for you. We'll see how this goes. So you're rolling freak, Harry. Freak, Harry, freak. Woohoo, hit! Hey, look, it's not five. Now, just so. <laughs> still bitter about that, eh? Um, yeah. So, the next question is Do you guys want to push it to a 10? What happens if we hit 10? So, unleash your powers to overcome an obstacle, reshape your environment, extend your senses. On a hit, you do it. But on the 7 to 9, mark a condition, or the GM will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. Which, uh, in this situation, I think that's kind of thing like, well, Harry, you got in. Now you're going to get out, kind of a thing. Um, no, I, I, think we, I'll, I, I think we should push it. Right. Super yep. punch is really hurt. We need a good way, then, of talking about how Harry is... How, how are we... How is somebody helping Harry? 
What what would stop Harry from getting out? How about that? Run, Harry, run. Um, a, a, an actual physical barrier that he can't run around. They're aware um, of okay. Fields. The Vir- the Virotovians are specifically aware of Harry aware of Harry because of the last incident that they investigated. They would have okay, so, so we need a distraction. So they're they, the obstacle. Yeah, they would have they would have prepared for a speedster. So how about a five foot tall metal robot? Yes, that would do it. Um, I think let's say uh, target target the generator to really distract them. So. And since we got other people on the the ship, if somebody wants to, yeah, um... generator. Ooh, ooh. Am I actually moving now? Can I? Can I? Can I be me? You are in Charlotte's body. You might have. You are. In, you're in your body. Wait, I was walking this direction. <laughs> Jason. Hilarity might... ensues. Yeah, Jason. Not, might... not, not now, Jason. You're be ridiculous. <laughs> so, Jason. If you're, if you're, this, it depends on what you do. But if you can get in the back seat fast enough, <laughs> Charlotte, not gonna be left in the seat universe. Charlotte, I need to back seat. Charlotte can drive here, as long as you can, you know. Hang on. So as long as I can get from the back seat, okay. that's fine. So, so backing, up, backing, up to, backing up to the help thing, which is what we're doing. Um, Otto. The yeah, ten foot robot, big distraction. How do we tell Otto quit folk, quit worrying about the girls? I've got this. Help Harry. Smack some dudes. Because he's getting distracted and moving in the direction of whatever's gone on with A Leo, B Numina, C Numa, or not necessarily in, in no particular order. Um, uh, we, we as a team per, uh, previously had just regular conventional comms. Uh, yes. He should still yes. do that. So okay. I can, I can so, call it in. Yes. Okay. So Jason through Leo through Jason's voice, you know, I'll get the girls or what you tell Tell me what you say to him. I got the girls. I got the suit to distract the guards. Uh, okay. And he, <laughs> Uh, he hammer throws the ship. Nice. Are we all are we all on board with what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. All right. So yeah, leans back away from it and just basically he doesn't do a big spin like a full spin, but he Fraction does about a, the he does about a uh, 180. FYI, say that again. I'm driving. Okay, you broke up a little bit there, but anyway, he does about a 180 haul with this thing and takes about five or six steps back and just flings that thing. Uh, in the general direction of the mausoleum, uh, to to get the attention, that certainly give you give you the plus one that gets you up to a ten. Harry, All right. Harry, do you want me to tell you what this looks like? Do you want to tell me what this looks like? What do you want to do? Um, exiting. You know, the classic speedster blur running in, slows down. What's it look like? What's it look like from Harry's from Harry's point of view? I mean, we with the light, we, we can always the flashes of, of running speedster amongst regular speed people. That's one way of looking at it. I want to like, what does it look like from Harry's point of view? Where everybody's in slow-mo. Um. There's the guards distracted by uh, and as I'm getting closer kind of starts turning his head but too slowly Uh, do you, soon as do you take any of them out as you go, like just a couple of little high, like high speed punches as you go as you go through, just to take them down, or what do you do? I know we're on a time frame here before the bomb explodes. It's kind of there, so if any are in my way, they have a surprise coming. 
Okay. Um, that, yeah, you get in there. There's actually a bit in there where you're actually, you, you sort of duck under the vehicle, the, the hovercraft as it's like coming towards you. You kind of like jog under it um, and come up. And just as you're coming up to the mausoleum, you see some kind of tech that's been embedded at the bottom corners, middle corners, and the top corners of the of the of the door. Whether it's something that's supposed to trigger, it looks like a trap. Whether it's something that's supposed to trigger for anybody who doesn't have a I don't know a chip in their head or or whatever. Whether it's a keep them all out, keep them all in kind of thing. You don't know, and you don't have time to fiddle with it. Um, so we actually see the the we the camera sh the 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 shot is of like Harry kind of smiling a little bit a little bit of a smirk and lowering his head and running straight through the mausoleum wall. Nice. Is that cool? Nice. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you appear inside the mausoleum and there's like, I'm going to say six, six lab coat guys, maybe two soldiers. Uh, the lab coat guys aren't quite reacting to you yet. And the soldiers at least know that there's somebody there. Um, so you kind of quickly shoulder them out of the way and shouldering them at the speed that you're moving at at this point in time is not good for oh, their for them. It's, yeah it's not good for their health plan um it doesn't seem so much like the impact but you lift them so hard that they 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 really fly and then you grab this you know this thing is heavy it's not good by any stretch of the imagination but it's it's an, you can get it off the ground and as soon as you get it up you take a couple of steps and phase again to get out because again it's it's not so much that you just don't know what the door is meant to do um where do you go i head towards the water okay all right so that would be i'm gonna close this up here that would be the lovers in the rowboat and the family of baby ducks <laughs> yes <laughs> um so you're basically headed i got a ping here this direction which is kind of north away from the thing and that's where the sh that's where the shoreline's at it's probably uh, let me look we conveniently have a city map so let's just jump over there real quick no oh uh, well crap the cemetery is not on this one or is it sure this... is oh i just it's number it. two i've got my map shrunk out so far i can't see okay so you're here and yeah you're headed for the water this direction okay um The lights on the thing are pulsing fast, even to you. So you can only imagine that for a regular person looking at this thing, it would basically be a solid strobe at this point. Um, you get... Do I know how much time is left on it? It's impossible to, to say, really. Um, well, I can I get given an estimate... Best guess. Five, One minute. Five seconds. Five seconds. One second. Five seconds. You figure you can get it. On the counting. You figure you can That's... get it. You can get it away from the cemetery, and that may be enough. I mean, you I, you rolled a 10. It will be enough. But it's not... and run the other way. What's that? I chuck it and run the other way. Well... I mean, it's too heavy to throw. I mean, you can you can maybe get a. If he can carry it, he could he could twirl with it. If he could twirl with it, he can do the hammer throw with it. Yeah. Air manipulation. Oh, that's true. Yeah. All right. Where do you want to do that at? Like, just get uh, out get out of here and throw it. Which direction are you going to throw it?
populated yep. area. Ping, ping the map where you wanna when you where you the, wanna whip it. The Virtovian Embassy. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever that happens. That would be if I rolled 12. <laughs> there, is there a Rook Industries building somewhere around here? No. Actually. Uh, I can see the water from here. Can he, I, how far does he think he's going to be able to, to chuck it? Uh, about this. I mean, I'm not far. Uh, get it? He okay. might be able to get out of the cemetery. It, I mean, it, if you, if you go a, due north, there's there's open space. It, yeah, it's not a question of how far he can throw it. It's a it's a question of how far it will fly in in five seconds. Can I get here? If I can click one second, I can click. You can throw it that direction. <laughs> right over the convent and the, uh, the orphanage. <laughs> uh yeah, where, where's it's the a, uh, a, where's the football stadium? That no no one will miss that. I was gonna say an, an abandoned subway station. There's a uh, there's a baseball diamond right over here. I, I would feel bad if we threw it into an abandoned subway station and there was like a vigilante down there. <laughs> <laughs> he just, uh, and he's had a, he's had a, like a really bad week already, and it's, oh, you just ruined somebody's uh, secret base. What do you <laughs> He's Some so days, you just get a bomb gotten rid of on you. Um, in, in the coin, is is it a a you know a d you know, roll a d three? Is it a white cape, a black cape, or a gray cape? Yeah. The um, what is it at Hecate? Can I throw it at her mansion? No, I mean not for her. <laughs> uh, we would all want to. The, the I mean the main thing would be to try to get it, I guess high and just at that point in time get as far as you can, which you can absolutely do. Um, so you get out of the mausoleum far enough and just, and you're like, this is just, I don't have enough time. And you just spin having just seen Otto's maneuver, except you do it like a lot more times and then release the thing. Um, and it fly. Okay. So it flies straight up and you're, you're watching it. Uh, Charlotte, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, so I had this distraction planned. Are we back in the real world, please? You're, you're, <laughs> you're, are we under the are we under the cemetery? Your your yeah. Where do you where did you want to come? Because you can come, you can come to the shadow here. Jason, close your eyes. You can I want to come up. Now, just just okay. make, before you say where you come up, just let me get this in here. You can come up. Anywhere that isn't inside that circle. Oh, I see what you're doing. Is it is it protected? I can't get through. They've got some kind of thing up. You you might be able to force your way through that, but you're not entirely sure what would happen if you did. Well, actually, no. I take that back. You have a fairly good idea. At least one thing that will happen if you did. Because, I mean, the generator is at the middle of this, right? Uh. The thing that Harry threw or the other thing? You said it was kind of floating? Yeah, that is at the dead center of this thing. And whatever that thing is, is def definitely screwed with you being in Link's body. Or something did, because you're seeing, you're now that you're in your own senses, you're seeing there's some kind of mystic hoojimajigger. It's not so much like a force field as it is just like a massive interference field. Um, so... And it comes down into the, the Shadowverse? It's a, it is a, yes, because again, Mystic. Um, and this, I don't even want to ask if it goes into the Sepiaverse. And actually here, let me, let me just do an extra little thing here. You might appreciate this. Even if it weren't here, you wouldn't be able to get any closer than that. Because where the green is, there is no Shadowverse because that's the spot that's all jacked up. The part that expands when people go through it and stuff like that. That's yeah, the CPFverse part. The CPFverse hole. That's actually probably too big. Let me. Yeah, that's about right. At this point, that's about right, give or take. 
so even if you even if the other thing weren't there, you wouldn't be much closer than that anyway, just because. Um, yeah, right about there, I think. You wouldn't be much closer than that anyway, just because there's no way to stay in the Shadowverse. It ends there. Okay. Um, but you can get really close. And you can get close to where you, like your where your marker's at and stuff. Do I do I get like any kind of of strength for being near that? Just I mean, curious. You, if you want to, yes. But it, I mean. Okay. Well, what I was trying to do is not going to work. So let me let me take Plan B here. Um, why don't you go to somebody else first, and I'll okay. I'll plan Plan B. Think about that. Talk with talk with Jason. You you can easily have a good, quick discussion with Jason. He's right there. Uh, Leo, you're the the disc is going through this air at about a it's leaning forward at about a forty degree angle. Um, all the fans whining. Um, and you are quickly approaching the cemetery. What do you do? Uh, the plan, as mentioned, was uh, get the suit. Um, okay. Okay. however we need to do that and if there's anything standing in my way I'll run through it okay so you as you're coming up I, I want to hear what your response to this is but as you come up and uh, Otto was in right about here and had thrown the I'll just take part of it because it only about part of it and threw it up like this direction, sort of. I, I don't need to get the pieces that close because they're kind of not connected anymore anyway. Um, kind of whipped it up that way. And he's, he's, but as you close in, you see a wondrous thing. You see your suit fighting. <laughs> it, it, it looks like the suit feel. It looks like the suit feels on you, but it looks a little bit different somehow. And it doesn't even really surprise you, honestly. I don't. Th I don't imagine Numina and Numa between the two of them, because Numa was on your suit at the time. Between Numina kind of steering it and Numa being right there, the skeleton. They're fighting with Otto. Uh and. I mean, they're not a hundred percent, but but they're definitely making it work. Sounds good. Uh, they're, they're fighting like the soldiers and such. They're yeah, they're fighting the they're fighting the 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 Vertovian guys and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna call out to them. Hey, between y'all, grab one of those guys and let's get out of this area. Oh yeah. Uh, do they need to be currently conscious? Because I'm pretty sure this guy will wake back up in a minute. Uh, conscious would be good. That's our that's our control group. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Hello, you just volunteer volunteered to join the well, whatever we are. Here. It's for science. Don't worry. <laughs> that's actually I like that better. Otto reaches for it and kind of grabs the guy by the chest. Like he doesn't ball it up his shirt. He just grabs his chest. With his hands, picks the guy up. Is like, don't worry, this is for science. And he, <laughs> and he, he turns and tethers the uh, bottom of the of the quill disc, um, and Numa Numina suit, like sort of, I think grabs probably one of the connection points on him, as they're as they're getting pulled up. Um, I, I will. I just want to note that telling a Virtovian soldier, "Don't worry, this is for science." <laughs> it's probably not the most reassuring thing you could say to him. No, actually, it is the least reassuring thing you can say to him. It's that's, the most reassuring thing for me. In our lady's name, this is for science. Yes. Oh dear, sweet God, no! This is why I joined the army. I didn't want this. I didn't want this. Uh, Harry, your thing. So as and as. As this is happening, you're you're seeing, like, as you're pulling up and, and grabbing this thing and pulling up, the thing flies out, and there is a right about mm, here ish, and so good throw, Harry. Well done. Um, it 
does something. And the closest thing, Charlotte, would you have been back out and in the, actually it doesn't matter. Um, to you, no, I'm still in shadow. I'm doing what I'm doing from shadow. To, to you, Charlotte, what you see about, so 100, 120 meters away and about, what's it called, 200 meters away and about 100 meters up, you see um, what to your eyes looks like, and, and Jason, you had seen this too, what to your eyes looks like uh, um, a plasma ball. Like the, the, you know what I mean? The glass balls with the little lightning and stuff like that. Right. Except instead of crawling around, it's almost like it's reaching. But it is, it is, it is constrained. Um, what everybody else sees is, and it's hard to even explain seeing it because I'm never, I'm never even sure really what I've seen. But if you ever watched a fireworks show where the big big boomers go off and they don't have a flash associated with them, but you can kind of see something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like they, yeah. they can't not have had some sort of effect. So you can see this kind of like thing. That's what you guys see. Um, and it doesn't flatten any buildings. It doesn't as near as you can tell, do anything. Um, other than make kind of a big crack. Um, but you know, actually very much like a, like a boomer. And the thing is, whatever it was is gone. Um, Charlotte, what you see, it's high enough up that, um, and you'll have to forgive me here because I'm going to have to use, well, you know what? No, I, I can use something else. I will just grab whatever I've got here. Go over here. We're just going to grab, actually, that's perfect. I'm going to grab that thing. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make it small. Do, do, do. And we're going to move it right about there. Is that what I said? No, put it right over here. And right about there. Huh? Does that work? Yeah, okay. Um, you see this, Jason and Charlotte, you see this effect where it reaches down, it's up, it's up in the air, but where the bottom of the sort of globe reaches down far enough to touch what you perceive as the ground, you see the ground boil away where it touches. Like In, in shadow? It, yeah, the shadow, where there was shadow, there is not now. Okay. Is Where, there? Is there? It's a smaller spot than the other one, but it is the same kind of effect as if you were in shadow and and coming up to where this thing is right over here. Yeah. So it's a dimensional drill. Is 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 it Something. like growing or is it just a no. single? No. Move? Right. So so where so it, if it where it, it touched to, it, to extrapolate. If it had happened in the mausoleum where there was already a hole, would this have been like basically something to excavate a larger hole? Multiple, which, multiplicative. Right. Through yes. which things could pass in one direction or in the other direction yes. or both. Yes. It would have done, it would have exacerbated that and probably in some resonating fashion. Good the, job, team. The idea that that reaction could have been controlled is unlikely jason i'll say that if that if that was their deal whoever did that there's no possible way with just letting a bomb go off thinking that the reaction i mean even if you knew the math there's no way you would know what the what the chaos factors are in that to keep it from so so it was a suicide mission and they didn't know it or they were just desperate or, or they don't it's care. something that could essentially merge the two dimensions by making everything a hole into the between uh, this world yeah. and the CBAverse. It's un. It's. I mean, you you may be an optimist. It's un, you, you have to think it's unlikely that it would have uh, completely eradicated all separating tissue, um, so to speak. But there's no way to. You can't imagine there's any way to easily predict how much would have been eradicated. It's, it, they were just 
they were just they were dropping a bomb in an oil well just to see because they needed a bigger hole with no idea of what that would actually do how much it would do they just they knew they were going to get a bigger hole they didn't really care how big it was going to be but it's over there it's still not good charlotte that there's a whole lot of bad there but it's still um better than it would have been yes because it's over there and it's isolated we will learn a lot more about whatever that spot is over there in a little while but um so but because it was so high the spot that's touched is you Fractional. know yeah it's it's the bottom of a globe touching touching the water only probably if it were a globe you know if it were if it were a softball the surface area that actually touched down was probably the size of a dime does that make does that work as an analogy space wise mm -hmm. to give you an idea that's how far up it was but the the it just it just evaporated it's wrong. it just evaporated everything that it touched like you see the outlines of of things and shapes and shadow that just kind of break up into their component bits and then sort of evaporate away right. it's gone quickly but yeah a whole lot of wrong okay. there Hey, Harry, great job. He honestly, yes. He got it out, and that was the main thing. No, I'm Yeah, I would think so. Um So, uh, so Jason, do you see that? Did can, can you see that? Yeah, that's really freaky. It's a good thing I already have afraid as a condition <laughs> that's freaking <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> Go do some damage, okay? Yeah. I like that idea. Um, done uh, damage. Lee, uh, Concord, you sit bolt yep. upright in the back of the uh, disc. Actually, uh, do not read from the book. Sorry. Actually, <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. yeah, I think, yeah, I think this is definitely where you know all of a sudden Leo just gets to hear like from the back of the uh, quill disc. It's like, what's a force four dimensional breach? <laughs> <laughs> You're, thank God you're awake. I thought you had a birthday or something. What? <laughs> I thought you had a birthday. Oh shit, that's funny. Uh, Wait, I, I, I love the joke. I love it. Um, what? What is the reference? It's um. I didn't get it either. So all the adults are asleep. So I figured, you know. Oh. No, I, okay, I was, that wasn't even what okay. I was referencing. Um, okay, that, I was thinking of um, Weirdly Frosty the Snowman. I guess that doesn't actually make any sense. Happy anyway, birthday. Happy birthday. Um, so Concord sits, or sorry, Adam sits up and says, what's a Force 4 dimensional breach? breach? Is that what he says? Uh-huh. Uh, and then probably like floats back up to his feet. And is I like, will, where are we? Concord will Concord says or sorry Soul says I will explain the intricacies in a moment but the in effect it's what just happened those people down there just tried to rip open a hole in dimensions told and you they were evil they mostly failed question mark oh i just suddenly realized Perfect. what it, I Further studies going to be needed. Oh man, I just suddenly realized that what I really should have done with Saul was have him talk like Elcor's from, uh, um, from, from Mass Effect or something along the. But like, just have him. Uh, not... Trust me, I I had that same idea. Oh yeah. It just doesn't work after a while. Well, more like he doesn't do inflection. He just tells you what what uh, punctuation should come at the end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. I, I already do that half the time anyway, but, uh, yeah. Exclamation point. Yeah. Yep. I, uh, yeah. They were mostly unsuccessful, question mark. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, he says they were mostly unsuccessful due to your companion's activ uh, actions. Mostly uh, the Gale individual. We assume that our recent, uh, uh, oh, give me a minute on this one. 
we can only assume that our recent mentoring had some sort of uh, increase. <laughs> Net, no, net, no. net increase leave, on his leave, effect. Leave it to him to take uh, you know, credit for we it. We can only assume that our recent mentoring had a net influence on his effectiveness. Yeah. A net inspirational effect. Net inspirational. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Wait a second. Adam, you awake? Tell yeah. Saul he sucks. <laughs> Saul, you're being ridiculous. Look, t tell Saul he sucks later. Can you still read minds? Yeah. We had, we had a soldier here. To, to so, find out from this guy how we can stop these people best. Actually, um, it's uh, that's like, yeah, we got a guy who's gonna be up here in like a second. Oh crap! Transform. Oh, yeah. Um, were you floating before you transformed? Yeah. Interesting. Adam doesn't do that normally. I know Adam doesn't do that normally. I mm -hmm. like that. Uh, Charlotte, what were you gonna do? I want to get you out um, there and doing stuff. Okay, so I wanted to use my my new. Um, oh God. Oh okay. God. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? I am quickly. Oh, gonna, I'm quickly. Jump, I gotta jump over to the character sheet and see if I can see, see what it. he thinks I'm gonna do. No, um, I'm going to to, to use the um the p possession move object oh, and empower it mm -hmm. and and basically all i'm trying to do is oh you already had possession. Um, this is the thing that you were doing before what yeah this is what cost uh, this is what i failed last time at okay. so we're gonna try it again <laughs> but with something a little bit less personal than our brains <laughs> okay so that worked so well last time words to live by tonight's game Let's see how many. Ex let's see how much potential Charlotte can rack up in one in one game session. Woohoo! That was okay. me. <laughs> that was, yeah, that's true. Um, so so here's so when you described the barrier, mm -hmm. you said that it was you know basically like you know interference, right? Yeah, I mean it's more of a yeah, it's more of a uh, it's not a bubble. It's a it's a wibbly wobbly timey wimey ball. No, it's 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 a big mass of interfering energy that is all the way through. Right. Okay. So so I'm picturing it as a a a somewhat chaotic, um, you know, swirl of energy. Yes. But but with oh, contained. But not so much contained within a bubble as it is. It can't be projected any further than it already is. Like it's at its Okay, so Limit. here's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm taking, you know, a, a, a simple mortal object, a rock, you know, something heavy that I can throw. Okay. And what I want to possess it with is, you know, is is the concept of of anchor and order, right? So how I feel about grave it's how i feel about the team you know they're they're my anchor this is this is what fixes me you know in this world mm -hmm. okay so that's what i'm focusing to boot in it to place into this object okay. right to empower it with okay and i'm gonna pick a spot and i'm, I'm gonna be down in the the, the shadow verse mm-hmm Probably a little bit less protected down there, or know less about it. And I'm just going to hurl this thing to see if I can, you know, make any impact on the shield. Okay. Uh, roll. Uh, that's freak. Indeed, roll freak. So, roll me some freak. Ooh. Okay. So. I want to look back at the, that's a solid eight, and I mean, if you guys are inclined to push things, so let me, let me just go back to what this thing is, uh, go back to the actual move itself here. When you touch a mortal object and empower it, roll freak on a hit, you can use this object as a focus to do something impossible. When you roll a 10 plus, it works exceptionally well, probably that would be 
that or you get an additional use out of it. I think the probably works exceptionally well thing would be mm -hmm. the most useful thing. But an eight works. So there's no real reason to push it up unless you want it to be truly yeah, I, I... like truly profound. And I have an idea what that truly profound effect might be. Um oh. Well, so so I, I let the team know what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I phrase it as, you know, do, do you think I should, you know, supercharge this? Do you th think I need to, to push this? Jason, you know, can, can you help me with this? I would be honored to help you with this. Oh, Jason, you're the best. Okay. Uh, the best person to help with this more would be Concord, in my personal opinion, because of what you're trying to do and what his abilities are and where his... This is right up his alley. This is, this is yeah, he built this alley. He has, he has a small summer home here. Um, so if you guys want, you can drop two points onto it and get a 10 out of it, and it's going to be awesome, because I know exactly what would happen. What do you think? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's two points back out of the team. I'm worry about that in a second, I guess. And you hurl this thing. So Margie, <laughs> you were you were talking about your you were focusing on your connection to the team and your I was thinking of anchors and and, and the team is my anchor. You know, this graveyard is my anchor. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about the things that are, are solid and real to, to her, you know, that are orderly or, or that are, you know, right. Not, not chaotic. Jason from inside Charlotte's head. What is share what Jason's perhaps recently evolved connection to Charlotte is. What is your anchor to her? What is, or shall, how is I, she? I, I didn't touch her anchor. How is she, how is she an anchor to you? How do you she, understand she her? She's dragging me down into the briny depths. No, um, she, she has opened my eyes to things that, the reality of things that, even if I knew of them, I only scoffed. So she has she has broadened the universe for me, oh. um, in in a in in a way that I couldn't even imagine that it could be broadened. That is that is awesome. I love that. Concord, what are the virtues that you're going to reinforce enforce in Charlotte's heart when she does this? Ah, that would uh, be definitely a little bit of courage, because you know we're doing the impossible here. A little bit, of, a little bit of courage always helps. Um, but this is, you know, this is truth right here. Stability is What's truth. What's supposed to be. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. And a so, little bit of that white light discipline. Love it. What's the color of truth? Is it blue? Or am I... N no, truth is... Uh, red. Red. Okay. Yeah, no, I didn't go for the normal love is red setup. Because <laughs> no. that just seemed... I was like, no, we're changing this up. It's too easy. All right. So, the... The, the, the stone flies and the it, it flies just it's impossible it's an, it's a impo it's not how throws look Charlotte's arm comes forward like she's throwing and then she lets go of the rock and it just flies in a straight line from her hand to where she wants it to be um, like it's on a line and it impacts this thing 
but it's almost incidental. That's just where, because of where she was focusing things, where the where the effect decides to stop and enact itself, and it 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 winks this machine out of existence, um, or or takes it into actually it takes it into its component parts. It's the the entire thing is deconstructed, and it's all just kind of hanging there in midair, and it's little separate little washers and bolts and stuff like that, and then it falls to the ground. Um, and the effect spreads out. You feel that barrier drop, obviously instantaneously. Um, and it spreads out. Those of you around see the snow stop falling for about three seconds. Everything just stops as this effect goes out. And it goes out, not through the cemetery, but through the city. Uh oh. Just through the the whole city, and possibly who knows, but at least that far. Um. <clears throat> Good job! You broke with the uh, the HHL uh, <laughs> did to everybody to make them forget about Iceland. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Shit! Should we have that happen? <laughs> oh my god, that's so awesome! Uh, okay, quick show of hands. Should should that happen? I mean, we reinforce things with truth. Yeah, that sounds oh, like the truth here. Absolutely. That wasn't where I was going with things, but uh, oh my sweet merciful crap, that's that's good. Where uh, were you going? I'm I, I, I'm trying to figure that out myself. Well, now. the um, you quickly get in. Oh, I love the concentric circles. I uh, you quickly within a few seconds of this. Well, okay, first of all, um, Leo, you are pulling yourself up into the quill disc over Otto's back, looking at your own face, which this weird for a moment, looking at your own face, uh, realizing, no, wait, that Jason's face. Um, Jason, you're on, your hands are on the disc and looking at Leo as he comes up over Otto. Uh, Charlotte, you're, you're alone in your body, but not exactly still. Um, that's been reset and you're getting quick within about the next 30 seconds or so you're getting messages about, uh, all of the guy, all of the, uh, a 10 calls you. It's like, Hey, the guys we were fighting this crazy chick on like a big, go they're just gone. They just vanished. Like all the kids that they had are just standing around here. And they're gone. Uh, what? What did you guys do? That's a really good question. <laughs> um, that that's minor stuff, but oh, I think that we definitely, yeah. I like. Yeah, we we you guys we've have, broken a, we've broken a lot of untruths here. You guys, you guys have have. I mean, I kind of want I, I kind of thought about actually resetting the peanut butter and jelly balance in the area i am very terrible at metaphysical analogies um <laughs> but i don't know if that's necessarily in line with what you guys were talking about because you're trying to get rid of i don't know what do you what do you what do you think should it should it fix these green patches on the map or would that not does that not fall within this thing also uh, at a completely meta level does it completely jack up some other stuff we've got going on with the game no i think if it's more of i mean if we're talking about truth i i think it's more of a, a vertovia thing as opposed to i mean because because the sepia versus real yes. right yes so i don't know that it impacts the and the Either damage, the damage between, se. yeah, the damage between their, the damage that's been done, the, 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 the holes are real. It's the veil around Virotovia and all that kind of stuff that's wrong. 
So, that's so the there's an island out in the uh, bay now. <laughs> uh, no, there's there's that that that's not a untruth thing, there. Ah. But uh, everybody's gonna understand what's going on with Vertovia a lot better here in within the next day or so. Uh, I think some people are not going to be happy with us. <laughs> well, they weren't happy with us to begin with. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, just... But we'll, we'll, we're going to be heroes of the city. So it, it's... I'm going to be grounded for weeks, you guys. Yeah, but to be fair. Oh, right? no. You, you just need to look sadly at your dad and he'll like cave completely. Look... What are they going to do? Put you in a room you can't phase out of? <laughs> <laughs> did get a lot harder to, to ground Harry now. Okay. Oh, you didn't know about the special properties of the uh, the guest cottage? <laughs> okay. Um, it used to be a home for villain speedsters where they I were was, fed big belly burgers. I was going to say, like, like the Gale family hasn't had lots of access to lots of tech that will stop speedsters over the years. Yeah, that's fair. But for right now... Do they... not try my mother. Yeah. Okay, so... I want to go around. We're, we're getting up on the time here, and I want to go up and around. Um, I do like the concentration. Uh oh. All right. I'm glad that worked. That that. That was so good. That was so good. I did not expect the truth reset on the Victoria thing, but that was so much better than my idea. It's like, oh, you guys reset the, the the Yule creatures. Ah, oh, that's lame. No, 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 no. Much better. Much better. And so much more. And so much worse at the same time. Um, we'll we'll oh, give you those double-edged swords. My God! I mean, the fact that once it's all sorted out, the the league is going to be able to go. Yeah, that girl right there, the one we've been basically ignoring. In the there's actually a TV trope for four guys and a girl, or a team of guys and one girl. It's not mm -hmm. it's not necessarily a positive trope, but they've been basically they haven't really been the exception of partly because Hecate has been focusing on the one girl because that's what she does and she annoys people. So they try to think the other thing, um, which is fair. The fact that she just basically reset the, the, what they were doing. Uh, yeah, that's that, fun. That's that a little help for my that, friends. That is an eye opener. Well, first, they're going to have to figure out she did it. <laughs> 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 as we have as we have established thankfully for in a previous uh melee around the cemetery here there are security cameras but oh wait she was in the shadow wait, realm i wasn't i was in the she shadow, in the shadow realm. Jesus. Ah, yeah this is gonna be oh, weird oh yeah like, like the dread queen doesn't have security cameras in the shadow realm it's <laughs> Start so right if it comes down to who's going to get the credit for the hhl uh, I think, I mean, I would hope the rest of us would tell them, yeah, it was Ghost Girl that did all this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, unless. In, in, <laughs> okay. I know. They're, all, they're already afraid of Adam. Let's let's just give it to him. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go around. We're, we're going to go around before we get around and, and talk about connections to the team and stuff like that. Um, we're going to go around. It actually still takes the adults probably until dawn. Before they wake back up, they, they're they're sleeping through the night, um, basically. So maybe they won't wake up cranky. So with the evening before you, and back in your own bodies, um, Harry, what do you do? I gotta go try out this phasing stuff. <laughs> You're just gonna go out and play with your, play with your new, with your new toy, guys. Uh, yeah. So yeah, Harry's like, as soon as he can get away from the team, he just sort of like, I, I need to stretch my legs a little bit, kind of a thing. All right, uh, Jason. Um, did all the snow disappear or no? Just it's the... still snowing. So... So I, I will note that we are in a, a city that's still, you know, full of cars with adults that fell asleep in them and a variety of things that we probably need to try to. Uh, I know. I Nobody wants to do that. Yeah. I don't want to do that either. But I also don't want to be the, the kids who went home and partied while grandma died in the uh, yeah. in Miata crashed into a lamp, lamppost. You, you hear a couple of the other teen 
like heroes on the on the sort of like the community conversation. I think when you guys got back in the same body, it probably reset your telekinetic link right now. The the tele telepathic link thing. Okay. Until Ghost Girl gets a better take on it. Um, it, it was close, but it wasn't. It wasn't quite there. Um, but no, you, no. O- over the group comms thing that you guys set us up with the league radio and stuff like that, you hear a couple of they're good. Na- they're generally good natured groans. Um, and you actually hear from the disc there next to you. Oh, you're gonna make us work all night. Oh, you are the Dude, literal worst. Check check it, check in at the Quill Foundation or the HHL headquarters anytime during the night. There will be endless pizza and soda. And chips. And yeah. chips. <laughs> Fine. I can go phase through cars and get people. That's true. That's you great. Can... Great practice, Harry. Yep. Um, learn, learn how you, you know, learn how you can use that power in a way that's going to do some cool stuff. Hey, Jason. Rock. Being insufferable again. Hey, Jason. Yeah. That 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 person saying, "Oh my God, you're going to make us work all night. You are the literal worst." Is little Alicia sitting like standing next to you at the at the front steering console? Ah! <laughs> Charlotte, what are you doing? Are you are you sort of helping with this, or what are you what are you doing as much as you can? Um, well, two things. One is I'm going to be, be checking out the scene of the crime here. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, and I'll get you, you more know, infor- the information tech and on stuff. that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the cemetery is. I'll, I'll also be asking the, you know, let the pony, I'll give an update to the ponies and tell them to, to look out for some young supers running around helping. So okay. if they need any help, connect okay. in. Okay. Yeah. And they're doing pretty good job. They, um, I, oh, they're so great! You Hero, guys are doing a great job. Heroes, heroes or magic um, establishes. Uh, what was her other call sign? Heroes or magic was. She's my a, little power ranger. My little power ranger. Yeah, she sets up uh, like a like a group chat that uh, through. Um, uh, I can't remember the name of the chat server, the the chat tool, but it's um ah frick the one that everybody uses that when they're not that that isn't in the U.S. uses. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, so she sets up like a group thing through there and gets everybody in there over the course of about a half an hour so they can kind of coordinate, um, ping stuff. Um, by the by halfway through the evening, she's got a Trello board, um, set up where she's like moving, like cards around on which neighborhoods have been handled, um. The the power. You, you ponies rock. Every every about twenty minutes, thirty minutes, I'll I'll just text a a, <laughs> a, a a thing out to the ponies and to the to the teen supers. Okay. Um. Yeah. So they're they're doing the they're yeah everybody's doing the work. Um. It's exhausting and it's cold. Um. You dare get tomorrow off school. <laughs> Oh, there's that. De- oh, come the, the on. Yeah, I, I definitely think tomorrow will be a school day if, or a, a snow day. If, if nothing, nothing else, if nothing else had happened, if literally nothing else had happened but snowfall, five inches in central North Carolina, they're going to be shut down for a week. Yep. Um. But yeah, there's going to be a snow day tomorrow. Uh. Okay. That that, that, that was Charlotte. Uh. Jason. Uh. Concord. Um, the first question Adam's going to have is, do I still need to interrogate this Veritovian guy? Because I need to get home and make sure my sister's okay. Uh, I think the larger question also is, we had a bunch of soldiers and lab coat guys here. What's the, what's the situation? Um, well, it depends. Old- it, no, they didn't disappear. Um, they are, if you're, if you're willing to let them go, they are in full retreat. Uh, no. No. <laughs> okay. So, uh, they are. Goes in there. I mean, they're scrambling as much as they can. They're scrambling out of the cemetery, and there's 50 of them. So, track keeping track of all that may be what you guys do for the next uh, couple hours. Well, 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, certainly within the next for the next uh, half hour or so. You're gonna you're gonna mop up most of the Viratovians and get them trussed up, and uh, the central platform of that Viratovian hovercraft is still intact. So it could be like Concords can sort of like put some 
energy signature wheels on the thing and kind of roll it down to the nearest police station and have them just kind of stuck in there. Kill? Um, just, you know, stuck in the drunk tank or something like that. Um, but yeah, probably the next hour is probably mopping those guys up and got, getting them um, taken care of. Uh, Concord, do you do you do a uh, an energy construct to go and check on your sister? A dupe? Uh, I think it's more like that is totally going to be like something he's going to have to do like on his own. Like, dude, if you gotta go, you gotta go. To, yeah, to, yeah. yeah. Yeah, to go. And, it's important. And weirdly, weirdly, Concord or uh, Saul is is somewhat naggy about making sure you go and check, like before you do other stuff. And it, I was about to say, Adam is going to be naggy about doing this before he does other stuff. So. Yeah, and and Saul doesn't give up any, even the least amount of. Uh, uh, he doesn't give you any grief about that at all. So, for whatever that's worth. That's concerning. What? Maybe. He likes me. He didn't like you. No, but what's his thoughts about your mind? Oh, he likes he he the seeing the, the people Saul uh, likes the no the, the people Saul likes the best are kids because they're. I'm just seeing images of singing, and it's a trampled house, and uh, his sister is gone. Oh no 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 no! It's just that Saul just wants to go and check because he likes kids no well and specifically he likes he likes adam's family they're they're i mean he would never he never he would never express it in those terms but he generally he likes them because he understands them um what's her name jay it starts with a j jordan jordan yeah he likes he likes jordan jordan is straightforward <laughs> jordan has one emotion at a time at approximately a volume setting of 103 know, 103 um, she's very easy to comprehend for Saul. Um, all right. So my you, big, my biggest hope right now is mom and dad asleep on the couch and Jordan, like lying on top of both of them. I mean, your dad's was, we, yeah, we can have them both at home. Cause they, they don't all have to be, I mean, he's going to, he does, he does four ten, <laughs> So he's going to have three nights off in any given week anyway. So he could just have been home. Uh, but yeah, your mom and dad asleep on the couch and Jordan asleep and everything is fine. I mean, there was clearly some sort of some of the supernatural activity down here. You see, it looks like somebody had a brawl of some kind actually at your high school, um, probably because the Yule lads were coming after people who were hiding out there. But uh, that was this place on fire like an hour ago. <laughs> what the school? Just, yeah, just a little, just a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. Um, but that's all and you ask around and some some of the people that are on the chat and stuff like that are uh um you know yeah we were we were down there and fought some of the guys off and then when they vanished like you know we were just left with i mean the place is kind of trash man i mean but you know tarn yeah. <laughs> uh it was already trashed that's fair um so once the mop up is in leo you know, Concord, you can write, you can make sure everybody's cool there, and then you can get back to the other stuff. Yeah, uh, the one thing they will do when he's mopping up uh -huh. is he totally wants to see if he can run into, like he'll be keeping an eye out for Stingray. Okay. All right. Um. Sure. Yeah. Somewhere oh no, there. Kid Kelvin. Sorry. Kid Kelvin. Kid All right. Kelvin. Yeah. Yes. Kid, Kid Kel. They would definitely once things have gotten simple to the point of oh we need to hunt these bozos down and and beat up some mooks and and feel like Superman. Yeah. He. They're all about that. So yeah, you can totally find him. What What's that look like? Oh, uh, it's just going to be like, while they're helping cleaning up, Adam's just going to show up. And I'm sure Kid Kelvin has all sorts of nice things to say to him after their last interaction. Oh, it's you. I mean, aren't you out past curfew or something, man? Hey, he deserved it. Yeah, and it's just going to be like, uh, when he's just like, uh, oh, geez. I got after curfew. He's like, I slept earlier. Oh. 
you know, whatever, man. Whatever. And he's like, oh, look out. And you kind of turn about that point in time. There's like three more of these guys. And, you know, you and Saul make annoyingly short work of them. Um, mm-hmm. Calvin doesn't know quite what to make of you because you're just this. Kid who insulted him a whole yeah. lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it wasn't necessarily even you. Um, yeah, but he, he is. Adam is definitely going to make a thing where he's just like, you know, hey, Kelvin, I'm sorry. I wasn't in my right mind earlier. We had a thing going on. I just want to, I just want to apologize for all the things that were said to you. Uh, that were said to you. Nice. Uh, okay. Sure, sure, man. Like, yeah, let's 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 save the city. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Hey, hey, that's good. I remember that. I gotta remember that. That's good. Cool. Um. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Leo, <laughs> after the mop up and you know the rest of the city stuff. Actually, because you come back into your body with. Numina in the suit and Numa around you on auto shoulders. That's how your night really, I mean, that's how your night as you really starts is at that moment. That, that is the best possible start. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. Um, and and just, just to add a note, so we did the body transfer as, you know, kind of Leo was trying to climb onto the disc and Jason was suddenly there in the disc. And, and after that moment, as they were looking at each other, Jason reached down and, and kind of grabbed Leo's oh, like arm that. to help him up. I like that a lot. That's great. Um, <laughs> and then Otto like drops the other guy in there and said, yeah, he's going to be, you know, he, he's, I don't, I didn't catch his name. Sven? Is it Sven? Anyway, um, <laughs> I just want it to be Sven. Um, so the, the night goes, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip Leo forward. Isn't that bit. the reindeer's name? I'm going <laughs> to, uh, and what's the cow's name? Um, so I'm going to jump things a little bit uh, further forward for Leo because the night's pretty well spelled out. Um, yeah, and I, I fully agree with Jason. Like cleaning up the city is going to be hours of work, and we're going to spend a lot of time on that. So, right. Yeah. So the the evening proceeds, and you guys are working together for the for the thing, mostly kind of having not split apart, but not split into different jobs in different parts of the city, but, but many hands make lights, make light work. And Numa's right. You know, she drops off and becomes, goes back to her own like individual form. Just yeah, because there's because that many more people. That, oh, yeah, definitely. Um, if we're aware of it, by the way, uh, we're going to definitely, among other things, fence off that new void zone up there just so nobody stumbles in there. But yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's not in the regular world. It looks perfectly normal. Um, people are not going to have very good dreams in that area right now. Uh, but maybe the quill foundation can, can purchase the property and put it to use. At the very least we need to wrap, like kind of wrap it up with police tape or something. Yeah. Well, the foundation should purchase it because it looks regular in the real world. Yeah. And so so that's a convenient way to get people out of it without. Yeah. And we'll open a coffee shop there. The, <laughs> the Quill the Foundation Institute for Paranormal <laughs> Research. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're gonna have bad dreams, you need coffee to keep yourself alive. <laughs> it's currently, I mean, just looking at it, it looks like it would be an apartment complex or a couple, probably. Yeah, that's what I mean. We want to. We'll, we don't we'll want people it, having we'll, bad dreams. Yeah, we'll open an asylum for the insane. Now, that'll go over great. Call okay. Arkham. That'll be great. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll take care of that. So you're going to jump ahead. So what do you got? Okay. Um, you guys have, you've gotten back to the uh, carriage house. It's like basically Don Otto's like, I know I'm not technically able to get tired, but I am totally tired. So I am just going to, he's out. Uh, Numina at some point in time when you were back at the Quill Foundation transferred back out, it goes, I don't, she's, your comment was, I don't mind being in suit. I enjoy being in suit. I love working with you, but it's a little cramped, so I'm gonna be. It's a little. It's a little cramped being in the in like. It's almost like being in the same body with somebody else. Um, and I can't imagine. And I can't what that'd be like. I'm, I'm gonna build you a new shell as soon as we can. I promise. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. I wasn't. I wasn't nudging. I was just saying I'm gonna kind of stretch my legs a little bit. Um, and you. 
uh, you you kind of find yourself out at sort of the front door of the of the thing and uh, of the carriage house and watching the snow come down, um, or find Numa that, Numa there, because um, it's far, far farther away from the city or at least the main parts of the city. And well, that was a that was a crazy that was a crazy night. Uh, uh, I'll that. It was good though i think we did good we did well and we did good it's nice to have it not be complicated well you did good you helped charlotte through all that i'm, I'm really i'm really happy that worked out she's remarkably easy to 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 work with she's <laughs> It was unlike, a similar time. Uh, unlike you. <laughs> she, um, see, you start to head back in and she's like, you know, she actually, she's nervous. You can see she's, she's actually nervous. We, I know I have been difficult to deal with lately, uh, lately last kind of forever never well you're nice for saying so but i know my doubts about our situation have been sort of ongoing and a permanent thing but you know i keep thinking about what happened with rook and rossum she doesn't say your father she says rossum and i i Nothing that happened during all of that is anything that you would have anticipated or expected or thought of. Because honestly, if you had, you would have prepared and to prevent. Nothing nothing in there was anything I ever expected. And it was it was bad, but it wasn't anything we were expecting. And I think that means that any way that we reacted to it. Any way that reacted to it is, is I can't doubt any of that. It isn't, I don't have to worry that there's some latent programming that's making me react a certain way. How I feel about everything that happened there is clean. It's, there's no doubt around it. There's no worry about it. And what I feel about all that is that you were amazing. And I don't agree with my old self anymore. And she kind of pulls her hand out from behind her back and holds up a mistletoe up over her head. Oh! <laughs> I got him. I got him. I got a daw out of out of Catherine. Well, no, I I just want to say I think that last panel just needs to be two people in silhouette. Is that good? I'm good with that. All right. Oh yeah. Is it? Is it? Are they still? Uh, I just want to know for the framing of it in my own mind. Are the silhouettes still standing apart. No. Okay. Okay. That's even better. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> How would that have actually been a thing? I, I'm just because well, they were standing apart for a second, and then I okay. But I love that. It, I love that. It with could the, have been a thing. Silhouette with the stars in the background, the snow coming down behind them. Uh, and Otto definitely not making a comment that he wasn't asleep yet, and he has excellent hearing. He's definitely not making that comment at this point. Um, although he wasn't asleep yet and he does have excellent hearing. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> he doesn't say, anything. uh, I will say for the record that when I first sort of brainstormed this, which was not long after the whole Rook Rossum thing, I mentioned it to Kaylee. She has been dying waiting for, waiting for this scene. And, and she, well, and she, I, I hope she approved of the last panel then too. She, she uh, she's asleep. <laughs> So she's gonna have to, she's gonna have to listen to it tomorrow. Um, <laughs> she went to sleep. 
So, but she will love it. She's great. That's great. I love that. And I loved all of this. So, thank you guys. Um, real quick, because it's late. Um, why are you still up? Because <laughs> you want to see the scene. Oh, you were listening? Up in your bed. <laughs> she left it playing and was so asleep. Were you happy with the final with the final panel? Yes. Okay, great. How many times have I told you? Okay, go back to bed. She crawled back out. I want to point out her bed's not on the floor. It's up in a loft. She crawled down out of the loft just to come back in here and tell me that she did it. How many times what? How many times have I told you, she said, that I've been waiting for you to finally do that? After every session, she would get up the next morning and say, okay, what did I miss? And did you finally do the thing with Numa yet? And that's been and great. That's been I mean, it's been going on since, I don't know, a month, probably. And I was like, I don't even know if it's going to happen. Just, uh. anyway. How many times have I told you? Anyway. So, yeah, you have a fangirl. She ships uh, apparently everybody with Leo. There's always there's, like, there's, there's a few people who should not be shipped with Leo. I'm just. <laughs> that there's always that one person in. Uh, ships everybody. Yeah. Um, so uh, that ship. I, I, I don't care how clever the shipping name is. You don't. Yeah. The, uh, the the ship thread incidentally with actual ships in it was perfect. Anyway, all right, real quickly going around. Uh, 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 Jason, closer to, <laughs> farther away, into your own image, and who? If if uh, definitely closer to, and I'll I'll have to give that shout out to Charlotte. Okay. Um, just because right. we shared a moment or two or ahead. Yeah. Anyway, I shared ahead yeah. or two. Um. All right. So. Assuming she has influence with it, she thinks she does. Charlotte, shift labels. Jason, uh, take potential or clear condition. Um, link. Um, I'm going to say into the image of myself, because wow. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, just real quick, are we sharing triumphant celebration now, or do we do that next session? Oh, yeah. We, we got what? the celebration. Wait. Let's, can we that do That next section, because... Yeah. It is. Somebody is leaving for the airport at 5:45, yeah. and so somebody yeah. is getting up to drive him. Yep. Let's yeah, let's, let's do it. Sorry, the sweetheart. No, that's good. Let's do it at the beginning of the next session because that's great. And there's probably more than a few people that have that. Um, make a note. Make a note. Okay, I will shift my labels then. All right, shift your labels. Uh, Mercury. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. It better be in the only image of yourself, man. Come on. Yeah. All right. Because yeah. phasing. Phasing. I hope that worked out pretty well. Well, oh. and, and saving the multiverse it's, from getting blown up. Saving, and... saving the multiverse from getting blown out. Learning how to phase. Rescuing a bunch of people from their cars. Not dying. Not dying. <laughs> also good. Getting influence over your dad. Getting influence over your dad. <laughs> Technically last session, but that's still sweet. All right, so I think is it ju it's just shift your own labels when you grow into your own image of yourself, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Charlotte. Um, obviously closer to the team. Okay. Being in each other's heads. Um, I'm not going to reciprocate with Jason. Okay, excellent. So Jason, if you already have influence over – if not, take it. I think you have influence. A, a, a great job, you know, dealing with uh, weird... dealing with it, and you know, and I think I I might have said that enough times to to count as uh, in good spirits. So. <laughs> okay. Um, I do so, have influence yeah, on Charlotte. Say, so I will, uh... shift labels, uh, Charlotte. You either uh, well, assuming he doesn't shift your labels in a way that gives you a condition, um, uh, either clear a condition or take a point of potential. Uh, Concord. And I apologize, uh, Mike. You spent a lot of time unconscious this session. Oh no! I, like I said, uh, I was perfectly <laughs> okay with that for two reasons. One, I got to do something funny when I finally actually did get involved. Your recovery when you pop back up, your line when you sat back up was perfect. And so. then two, um, 
I took I took the reins last time, so I was like, yeah, That's I fair. don't mind everybody else getting some spotlight. <laughs> That's fair. And, and I think for what you were here for and contributing to what Charlotte was doing, definitely. Oh, that was made so good. That was so yeah. perfect. God, I did not expect the the Viortovian veil to be pulled back. I didn't expect it to happen at any point. You're welcome. And the fact that it's happening now is amazing. So that's great. All right. So what do you think? Closer to, further away, own image. Uh, we'll go think? closer to the team uh, with uh, Miss Charlotte. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. So Charlotte... And then um, really quick, uh, before she shifts labels, would you say that by both going out and apologizing to Kid Kelvin and making sure that the family was okay, that I made some sacrifices to absolve guilt? Sure. Yes. Okay. I, would, I would think so. Certainly the Calvin well, thing, because that's that's that doesn't those sorts of apologies don't happen very often uh, in this game thus far. Certainly not with those folks. So yes. Okay. Calvin doesn't quite know what to do with that because people don't generally speak nicely to him. So, or apologize for anything. So, he'll remember that. What does that do wait, for you? Does that mean that I get influence over him? Uh. Damn you, and yes. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah. I will. I will remember that. That is good. Does... Yes, write it down. Put it in your influence column. You gotta... I, I, I am. All right. So, uh, what Tell... does that what does that do for you? The 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 absolve your guilt thing. Oh, it got rid of my guilty condition. Oh, there you go. So I'm back down to zero. Nice. Nice. I'll give you a clean uh, a clean uh, slate to work with next time. Very nice. You were going to ask something, uh, Margie. Oh, I was just wondering if I could actually run you know, roll for in good spirits for. Oh, is that an actual thing? I'm sorry. Yeah. Didn't understand. In good wait, in good spirits. Where is that at? Oh, in good spirits. Um, when you comfort or support someone by telling them how they exemplify the best parts of the modern world, roll freak instead. Yeah. Okay. Roll. Give me a roll. Give me a freak roll. What do we got? Kapow. What Kapow. the? Holy buckets. Nice. That is. <laughs> oh, I something. think I should be able to clear in condition for that. Well, actually, actually you do. So if you, <laughs> if, you, was, if yeah. you look at um, the basic. On a 10 group, plus, you can add a team to the pool or clear a condition yourself. Yep. Comforter supports someone roll. Well, in this case, freak. On a hit, they hear you. Uh, so, Jason, you can mark potential, clear condition, or shift. Uh, okay, well, you need to open up back to her. But So she was saying all this stuff. But I, I'm going to say, in this case, because of the whole mind meld between you two and the connection that you had and her feeling that, that a, really a, a knowing smile and a nod kind of a thing could count. Because you guys did such a nice job with that whole collaboration thing i'm i'm fine with the opening up thing honestly um so jason you can either mark potential clear condition or shift labels and charlotte uh clear condition i think i need to clear angry which is the traditional one for comfort and support yes that's great and i'm and i'm going to clear afraid so nice because you know that actually makes me feel less having the Wiggins about that <laughs> whole Shadow Realm thing that Charlotte came in and helped with. Yep. Very cool. Very, very cool. What a lovely, what a, what a night, what a cool ending. That is just awesome. All right, guys, it is, uh, I always say this, it's late. We should get going. Any other, oh, has, uh... any other uh, pressing worries before we go or are we all good? No. All right. But thank you, Margie. You did not. You did not make me take another condition. I was so worried about that. <laughs> I like to try and focus on your actions. So there you go. Very cool. All right. Thank you, guys. I think this went really well. I'm very pleased with how this whole very special Christmas episode went. So right. well, with all the fives and, and low rolls, I just want to flash back to a great thing at the end of one of the Mission Impossible movies. Um, the one where just everything's going wrong, and and Ethan Hunt says everything, everything on this mission failed except us, and that's nice. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. 
All right, guys. And we ended on a 14. So really, you can't honestly ask for much. If you well, you could, but it would be unfair because that's crazy. All right. I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to get to bed. So. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Yep.